Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. Kaylee, thank you for the three months. Really appreciate it. Let, let's take a look at this great one. You guys waited long enough. Let's get a look at him. Let's get a look at him. You know, first, since we're here, let's look for his track. Ah, there it is. 97 to 110. You love seeing that. Like, you really do. You just love seeing it. Oh my gosh, Zach, with the 50 already, bro, we just started. We just started. I mean, you're not even giving me a chance to warm up. <laughs> Thank you, Zach. Oh my gosh, bro. What is, what is this? Oh my gosh. Thank you, dude. 50 again. Flip, flip, flap, flip, flap, and what, what the flip? Oh my gosh. Ah. <sighs> Dude, thank you so much, Zach. <laughs> Congrats to everybody that got gifted those memberships. That, that's ridiculous. What a way to start. Am I nearly at a thousand members? Uh, Zach Doan. Zach has gifted probably over 300 at this point. Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready to see this? This is my coolest great one ever. It's probably going to be the most unique great one I'll ever kill. Look at that half typical rack, half squished Kinsko rack buck. Oh my gosh, look at him. Like, if I'm not gonna get typical rack, this is like a second best. This is literally like the coolest great one buck I've ever had on my map. Like, just look at him. It's so insane. <laughs> And like it's not just a normal 50-50. No, the the Kinsko rack side is squished and bent in such a weird way. It makes it work. Like it makes it look really good. This is everything I could have wanted in a great one. Like I'm so happy. Like what a beauty, man. I just I just can't even like I said, if, if it's not going to be a full typical, this is what I would want. And that's what we got. <sighs> and also, this kill count. Let me let me pull it up. This took 2,271 kills, which is about, about three or 400 more than what we usually have for these grinds. So, yeah. I got spawned last night at like 1230. It was like just past midnight. My daughter had literally gone to bed like 15 minutes before I found him. And so like in the recording, you just hear me going, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. In like a, a more like low voice like that, like a whisper, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Because I, I was so excited, but like I couldn't scream. My daughter was sleeping. But uh, yeah, it's pretty insane. So I think what we're going to do, we're going to shoot at the end of the stream. I want to try and shoot down a couple of the other zones. We still have a couple zones that I'd like to get all level ones in. Uh, so we're going to try and shoot down a couple of the other zones while we've got this beast on the map. And that way, a lot of you get a chance to look at him too. Also, what do you guys think of the two new emotes? We got the rip emote. I redid the rip emote. It's no longer green. It's like a, a pink emote with like green X's on it. And then I did the 10 emote, so you can do the Fabled 10. Oh, seems like you guys have already caught on Fabled 10. There we go. There we go. Okay, so let's see. What zone in particular did we want to shoot down? I forgot which one I wanted to target. Um, I know one of them is... Like, I'd like to shoot down this one because I just realized that it's not in that good of a spot. Time efficiency wise. And then if we could... I think there's... Maybe a buck in one of these that we need to shoot down. I'm thinking we search our map again for some more. I also got a feeling that we could maybe have a respawn that showed up down here. So we might go check that. I don't know. We'll see. We're going to see if we can either shoot down a couple zones or get another great one to spawn. Could you imagine if we just get another great one to spawn? Like, oh my gosh. That would be pure insanity. Anyway. Let's start the runs up. I cannot believe it, man.
How many more great ones do I need uh, before I, or to make the gold before fallow? Um, this would be number 34, so we need six more great ones after this. We need six more great ones to spawn. So it's going to be interesting. I think we can do it though. I mean, that was one of our longer grinds and it only took like four or five days of grinding to get there. I think it was like, actually it might've been six. So if every grind is like that, we should be able to get up to like 37 or 38 before the new update, hopefully. Because I couldn't imagine the update happening before like mid or late June. I'd say we got at least two weeks to go. That should give us a decent bit of time to get as much done as we can for this grind. But yeah, since we've got this big male on the map, I think I might reintroduce one more zone from Runaki. We have a zone over here. If we can uh, reintroduce this zone as well, that would just be great. Like, that would be awesome if we could introduce the entire Runaki. Honestly, guys, I really do feel like there might be something to what we were talking about yesterday. I do feel like maybe specific zones give bigger trophies more often. Because literally the second that we reintroduce some of our old zones that gave us that insane luck, a great one spawns. Literally a couple hundred kills after we reintroduced Runaki. Actually, less than 150. That's just insane. I really feel like there might be something to that. We will see, though. Got some big bucks there. Like, this lake's always been insane. Ah, I forgot to reload. No. Well, we'll get him later. Um, I would clay Drew, but it's one of those situations where, you know, if I, if I, if I go and help you on your map, trying to get a great one, I'm going to have a lot of other people asking me if I can do the same thing. I mean, the thing is like, as long as you're following the, the tips and the guides and stuff like that, that I talk about all the time, like it will get easier over time. Like it will get easier over time. It's just a matter of hunting your map and figuring out the consistent zones. A lot of times you got to kill a couple thousand to really see the consistency start to sink in. One thing that I've noticed that can really help with consistency is uh, try to, if you can, make all your primary grinding zones in the same area. Like, I've got a bunch of my zones like right in here that I'm grinding. And because of that, the respawns are more consistently going to the same area, I've noticed. Uh, no, Logan, we haven't shot the great one yet. Right now, we're using it to try and push down the score of the map so we can get a few more ones. We're going to shoot him later, probably. Depending on uh, how things go. Either we'll shoot him in this stream or stack him. I haven't really fully decided yet. We will see, though. Most likely, we'll kill him. What do you do to help stop the spread of exterior zones? It, it's just going to happen. It will happen. The exterior zones are going to... They're going to get some of your respawns early on. You got to weed them out, you know? You just got to get to a point where they stop doing that. And really all you can do is just repeatedly hunt them until they get consistent. One of the biggest things is if you have large herds of like eight or more, those barely ever get their respawns back. What rack is it? We'll be checking him out soon, Tractor. Uh, we're going to be going through that lake a lot, so... Oh, oh gosh. Okay, we don't want a one here. See, this is one thing we're going to have to watch out for. We're getting uh, we're getting ones in spots that we don't want them. So that's a little bit of a problem. Uh-oh, I, I went to the wrong tent first as well. We're going to end up spooking some of these when we fast travel. Would I shoot with the 470? No! It's literally the best great one we've had ever spawn. I, I am not shooting it with the 470. <laughs> that would be like the last thing I would want to do. 
Yeah, I think this zone is pretty much shot down now. I think that one is shot down. Uh, that guy's traveling. There we go. Boom. Smoked him. So now what we're gonna do is head over here. And I think... I think we can remove this scent. Zach, dude, come on, bro. Holy sh <laughs> I j yeah, bruh, you just you yeah. oh. oh my gosh. <laughs> dude, you just pushed you just pushed us over a, you just single handedly pushed us over a thousand members. <laughs> dude. Oh my, what is that, like 400 plus members gifted from you in the last week? I, I'm, dude, I'm, I just, I, I don't know what to say! Oh my gosh, thank you, dude. Thank you. That's absurd. That is just absurd. Oh my gosh. Like, guys, what do I even say to that? That's just... Thank you, Zach. Holy man, thank you. That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. Congrats to everybody that just got gifted memberships from Zach. That's, oh my gosh, that's just so mind-blowing. Well, guys, we got another new emote slot available. Oh man, at this point, we're going to have like all the emotes that we can possibly get. I think this brings us up to like 31. That's insanity. Yeah, Johnny, 30 emotes. Oh man. That's just ridiculous. Holy. Everyone's gonna be a member? Pretty much. At this rate, everybody's gonna be one. I think it's still giving out a few of them, so make sure you have memberships turned on or gifted memberships turned on, guys. You cannot receive gifted memberships unless you have it turned on. Jeez. No, Lucky doesn't get to die yet. We didn't get a full typical rack. It's a 50-50. So it's not the full typical rack. It's this guy right here. It's just partially the typical rack. So Lucky gets to live. Lucky, Lucky doesn't get shot yet. Ah, oh, jeez. He's so beautiful, man. I'm, I'm so excited that we got a good looking great one to spawn. Like, it's just so nice to see a beautiful buck like that. Take down that one. We need to shoot down some of these zones. For anybody just coming in, we're not shooting them quite yet. I want to shoot down some of the other zones to level ones. We're going to use this opportunity to rearrange some of our zones. We're going to try and get it to where we can implement a couple of our old zones that were really good back into the grind and get rid of a couple that I don't like. Chris in real life, thank you for the gifted membership. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Uh, it looks like that actually is going to bump us up to 1,000. I guess a couple of them expired as Zach did the uh, 50. Jeez. Thank you so much. And congrats to Gene. You got gifted that membership. And then uh, also, Jonathan Cena with the gifted membership. Thank you so much too, dude. And congrats, Cody. Holy... This, uh, this is a milestone, like a huge milestone on the channel. I cannot believe we're at 1k members. Like, how does that even happen, man? How does that even happen? I gotta, I gotta put in this emote while we have it. Let's put that emote in as a temporary one. Get our temporary emote slot. <laughs> uh, you know, this yeet emote just keeps coming back as a temporary one because y'all are just in so insane with the memberships. There we go. We got our temporary yeet emote back. I mean, honestly, at this point, we might as well just keep it. It keeps getting put back in anyway. We might as well just make the yeet a mainstay. Gosh, man, I just can't believe the support. You guys are ridiculous. You guys are absolutely amazing. Hey, Nathan, how's it going? Uh, another hundred gifted from Zach. That's what's happening. And then we got a gifted from... Uh, Chris and Jonathan as well. Like, ah, oh, man. Oh! Random buck showed up here. 
Boom. What should I do with my whitetail on rev or disappearing? If your whitetail on rev or disappearing, what I would do is check more of your map. There's a chance that you're missing some zones or they've merged with other zones. That is likely the, po the, the two possible scenarios where it's probably happened is with that. Nice, anti-twin. That's awesome. Congrats on that. The games block look really good. What rack is it? It's half typical rack, half Kinsko rack. But the, the side that has the Kinsko rack is super squished and twisted. It looks so insane. Started my grind but didn't start counting my kills. Is there a way to see how many whitetail I've killed? No, there isn't. Uh, you have to keep track of it from the beginning in order to keep a count. Sadly, the game doesn't track individual species. There we go. Got that guy out of there. Holy. How many great ones do you have now? This will be number 34 when we take him down. Uh, the AU emote means gold. Because AU is... Means gold on the periodic table of elements. And then I made it a gold color to match, you know? Uh, that was a cool way to do a gold emote, you know? But it can also double as meaning Australia, so, you know, it's a win-win. Hold on, guys, my wife's calling me. back. She just wanted to know if I uh, wanted some food. Uh, Gene, thank you for the super chat, dude. Really appreciate it. Thanks for the membership. For sure, dude. Thank, uh, thank Chris for that one. Coming through with the uh, gifted memberships. You guys have just been so generous with the gifteds. I can't even believe it, honestly. <laughs> and did you want some food? Oh, of course. I mean, I'm not going to turn down some food, you know. <laughs> I haven't really ate much today, so. Always happy to get a burger, you know. Oh, we got... Those two right there. Boom. No idea, Spectre. I'm not going to. I'm not going to shoot Lucky because this isn't a full typical rack. I mean, it's probably better, to be honest, just because of how unique it is. But I made a promise that we wouldn't shoot Lucky until we got the typical rack. And even though it's close, we didn't get the typical rack. Yeah, I can't believe we're at 1,000 members now. It just blows my mind. <laughs> hey, B. Jones, how's it going? Oh Thank you, Oxidize. Appreciate it, dude. Appreciate it. Oh, there's the deer right there. Could you imagine if we got, a uh, We got another great one to spawn today. That would just blow my mind. We are starting to get to a pretty efficient state, though, in terms of, like, our zones. You should just injure him since it's half typical. <laughs> I just shoot him in the toe with a 22. <laughs> oh, man. No, we haven't shot it yet, Stinger. We're using it to push down the average respawns to try and get some more level 1s on the map. We're going to take this opportunity to try and get some... More level ones in our zones.
All gifted memberships are random, Austin. Anytime somebody gifts a membership, it's completely random. There's no way to know if you'll get it. Hey, Sonaldo, I mean, I'm doing great, man. We have literally my coolest great one ever on the map right now. Like, I'm just, I cannot believe it. It may not be full typical rack, but it's at least half, and the other half is probably the coolest looking thing I've ever seen. It's just insane. It's just absolutely insane. Calm down, buddy. Stop sprinting. You're gonna go all the way over there to them? Yeah, that's what he's doing. Okay, then. I guess, I guess he wants to join them. I need this guy to turn. Come on. Come on. Come on, man. You got this. I believe in you. Oh, you're not going to turn. Okay. Okay. I see how it is. You're, you're going to make me work for it. How long until I shoot lucky? Uh, we're shooting lucky whenever we get a full typical rack. So lucky lives to fight another day. Two fifty one didn't quite make it. So close though. Yeah, Hunter for sure, dude. The channel's come a long way, and I'm very grateful for it. But it's all because of you guys. Without y'all, I would not even be able to do what I do. Alright, let's see. Looking at the layout here, what could I do to change this? I mean at this point I don't think we're getting any more respawns there, thankfully. We filled that one back up with ones. Probably should never have introduced that zone in the first place. What are we going to do about this, though? Because I I like this zone. It's consistent, but it's not positioned very efficiently. We'll have to figure it out. Uh, Pike, thank you for the super chat. Did you shoot the great one? No, we haven't shot him. We're stacking him briefly so that I can shoot down the rest of the map to ones. Uh, cause when you have a great one on the map, it really, it kicks up that average score quite a bit and makes it so you get more level ones. So we're trying to get a few ones in zones I don't want to hunt anymore. All right. That was the only one there. How many ones do I have? I don't know an exact count, but I'd say between like 70 and 80% of my map. Uh, the amazing CJ, thank you for the membership, dude. Welcome back. Hope you're doing really good, man. Apparently my membership was canceled at some point, but I'm back. Oh, I don't know why I would do that, dude. Any, maybe you changed like your card that was on there or like got a new card. That can usually like, uh, that'll reset that type of stuff. But thank you, dude. Welcome back. Yeah, this zone right here is getting really consistent. I like this. Like, I really want to keep this zone, but it's it's positioned pretty badly. Like, with the way I'm using these other zones, this is just not positioned good. Hey, Huntress, you haven't missed too much. We have not shot our great one yet. We've decided to stack it for a little bit to try and shoot down some of the other deer. To get some more low levels on the map. And then we're going to go through and kill our great one once we get done shooting down the map. Necron, thank you for the uh, super chat. Yep, Zach came through with the 100 again. Uh, it's kind of mind-boggling, man. I, I don't understand it. I don't understand what I did to deserve this. <laughs> it's been wild. It has been wild. Hey, JR, how's it going, dude? 
What am I going to use on the great one? We haven't decided yet. We have not decided what we're going to use yet. Yes, it's the oh my god. 221. We're going to be uh, taking a look at him soon, though. Thank you, Logan. Got a two-tone great one. Moose. Nice, Marky Parky. That's awesome. The two-tone's got to be, like, one of my favorites for the moose. It just looks so freaking good, man. It just looks so good. Okay, so this tent, I think we can remove. I think we can definitely remove that one. Let's see, we should probably grab the tripod as well. What's my favorite trophy? My fabled two-toned Great One Moose. It's like one of my dream combinations. And so it's probably my favorite trophy in my whole lodge. But this Great One Whitetail that we have on the map right now might take that position as my favorite. Because it, uh, it, is, it is something special, man. It is something special for sure. Got to be one of the coolest great ones I've ever seen. Yeah, Zevin, we hit a thousand members. Freaking Zach just came through and just slapped the memberships on us. I just, I don't even know, man. It's been absurd. It's been freaking crazy. Okay, so I think we could maybe put something back here. I'm just trying to think of what's going to be the most efficient way to hunt this zone. Because the thing that sucks is I have to run from the tent all the way over here. And it's just a big waste of time to have to run that much. It's like, how do I get this to be more efficient? Without uh, spooking off some of the other deer that are in the vicinity. I think I got an idea, guys. I think I have an idea. I don't know how this is going to work. I don't know if this is going to work well. It's going to seem like a really wonky and weird way to set up tents, but provided it works, this could be pretty efficient. This could be really, really efficient really efficient so we'll, we'll see no we haven't shot him yet we have not how long till you shoot the great one not sure outdoors family it depends on how long it takes to uh, get the rest of the zones down to ones we're stacking him to try and get the rest of the uh, map down to level ones in the zones that I don't want to have to hunt there he is though for those that haven't seen him isn't he beautiful isn't he literally just like the nicest wonky dude ever like, those are two different antlers, but they look like they fit, kind of. Like, this looks like a proper great one. What was the final count for when the great one showed? It was 2,271. So, it was not a short grind, that's for sure. But, it didn't go on as long as I was fearing. So, that's good. That is definitely good. Yeah, Necron it is. It's half typical rack, half Kinsko rack. But the uh, Kinsko rack side is really squished and weird looking. Which makes it, like, even cooler, you know? Big fan of it. Use a 300 Magnum, please? No. <laughs> Why would I use a 300 on a Great One Whitetail? Half good rack. I mean, to be honest, because the because the Kinsko rack side is so squished, I would say that's a that's a full good rack, you know? Alright, we didn't get a respawn there, thankfully. Eventually I'd like to be able to remove this tent. We just gotta get one more one to show up there. So I don't have to worry about it popping up out of nowhere. Use a shotgun side-by-side. -side. I did that on one of our last ones. I used the side-by-side -side recently on a great one. 10 millimeter? Maybe. Could definitely go 10 millimeter. In fact, I'm pretty much, I'm pretty sure I said that I would use it. 
Use the 308 bolt action? I could, Zaki. Also, have you been in here the whole time or did you just join? How's it going, Zaki? Maybe I'm tripping. Maybe you've been here, but I, I don't feel like I said hi. Am I going to make a vid on it? Of course. Once we take him down, there will be a, a video to follow. Because, I mean, my reaction, like, I... I <laughs> Considering, like, I couldn't really be loud, I think my reaction says it all, like, it's like the, the best silent reaction you'll ever hear. <laughs> I was just in awe. Absolutely mind blown at what I was seeing. When will I kill him? Once we get some of our other zones down to ones. There's a couple zones I want to get rid of, and then a couple other zones I'd like to implement into the grind. Uh, so we're using this great one to push down the respawns to get more ones in a couple of the zones. Because I'm sure the majority of you know, like, uh, how stacking works, right? You stack, uh, diamonds to make more level ones show up quicker for your herd management, and then kill off the, uh, the threes whenever you're done getting all the ones in the rest of the zones. Great ones, they speed that up even more. If you have a great one on the map, it'll make ones pop up quicker than if you just had diamonds, so. If we can get a couple big threes to spawn in our main zones and we leave those along with this great one, that's gonna really work towards getting some of the zones that I don't like shot down to ones. The more we shoot down to ones, the less places my respawns will have to go as well. And it'll make it so we stop having like two or three that bounce to zones I don't want them at. Let's see. We got a solo doe though. Alright. Either there's no respawns or we need to reset the time. What's your strategy to finding a lion you missed a shot on? Scared that she's coming to kill me as we speak. Um, chances are if you missed a shot, it's not going to be coming after you. It's probably spooked off and ran away. I mean, in scenarios like that, I usually reset the time and go back to where I saw it previously. Oh! That was nasty. That was nasty. That poor deer is dead. Just absolutely dead. Welcome back, Dron. What rack? It's a it's a strange combination rack. It's like 50% the Kinsko rack and 50% the typical rack. It's like half of what I wanted, essentially. <laughs> but it's it honestly is such a good looking combo. It actually works really well, so I'm pretty happy with it. Alright, let's try this new setup. I, I got an idea. I think this will work. I know, still no typical rack. I have two halves, though. Two halves make a hole, you know? <laughs> That's what I'm going to tell myself to make it hurt less that I don't have a typical rack. I have two halves. That's that's basically one, you know? Okay, so now what we're going to do... Is we're going to go here. Flame them. I think this is gonna work. I think it will, cuz what I'm gonna do is oh, we gotta reset the time. Get him back on land. What I'm going to do is claim them here, shoot these, fast travel over here, and if I fast travel over here, it'll take these out of render. So when I fast travel to this tent, they won't spook. That's kind of my theory, and I think it's gonna work out really well. And if it does, then we will have literally the perfect setup for this location. And we'll be able to efficiently grind this area. The question, though, is when I fast traveled to here and over to there, will it be too close to so we'll end up spooking them anyway? I don't know. We'll have to see. The moment of truth. Call the next great one melanistic. That would be just so insane. I think I do, Nate. I think it is like that. I think one of them, it's the left antler, and the other, it's the right. 
I think that actually is how I've got them. <laughs> That's pretty wild, right? All right, let's check the distance. Yeah, it's 600 meters away. So, provided they didn't spook from traveling away, we should be able to travel here and see them in their zone. If this works, that's going to be pretty uh, game-changing. The moment of truth. They're here. Oh my gosh, that's huge. That is going to be pretty massive for this grind. That's pretty incredible. And I just realized one of them came back as a one. Okay, I don't want this zone to be ones, so you you get smoked. You, you get smoked, because I, I don't want this zone to be ones. I actually like this zone now that we got it working good. Now that we got it working good, this is actually a nice zone. How long till I shoot the great one? Uh, once we shoot down a couple of these zones I don't want. We're stacking the great one for a little bit to try and shoot down the rest of the zones. That way we can make this grind like the most efficient it can possibly be. I'm already noticing we're getting lots of ones popping up. <laughs> Just because this great one's on the map. If I can get a couple threes stacked as well, oof. It's going to be insane. It's going to be nasty. Hopefully another spawns. Oh, if another spawns, that'd be so good. Oh my gosh, I hope so. There has been one time where we got four great ones on the map at once. If you guys were watching like... What, like five, six, seven, eight months ago? I don't remember the exact time frame, but you guys were watching back in the beginning of these grinds. We stacked four great ones over the course of like two weeks and then shot them all at once. But there he is for those that haven't seen him. Isn't he just beautiful? Such a wonky dude and I love it. It's so freaking wonky. Also, guys, I just want to say thank you guys so much for 113,000 subscribers. We hit it last night. Actually, I think it was this morning. We hit it this morning, so thank you guys so much for that. I really do appreciate it. Uh, we've got a video coming out later tonight that I think you guys will enjoy. Uh, it's going to be preparing for Australia by playing Australia in the Hunter Classic. Kind of looking at some of the species that are coming to Call of the Wild with the new map. And I got really lucky. You guys are going to want to see it because there is some in, there's some pretty, pretty big males that showed up. So I hope that you guys will enjoy that video. Because it was a fun one to make. First time back to Classic in ages. And it was great. Yeah, Cooper, I did. I got one of those combos. I'm really happy with it. That's like one of the best combos I could have asked for. Like, for real. Okay, that is... Ah, uh, that one probably won't make diamonds, so we'll kill it. If we get a diamond to spawn, we're going to try and stack it to try and shoot down these other zones faster. Oh, 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 gosh. Ew. I missed so easy shots. Also, guys... Already, just the changes we've made to this grind have made this so much more efficient. I mean, we've been moving tents around and stuff, right? And we've still killed 40 deer in 40 minutes. And I haven't even been hunting the entire 40 minutes. Like, we've been messing around with our zones a bit here and there. Opinion on the kangaroo coming to... Oh, it is diamond. Wow. <laughs> okay, it's a diamond. Well, that's our first diamond of this grind. 40 kills in. Uh, did the diamond go up on the diamond counter? I don't know if it went up. 258. Let's do a quick little time reset here. Unless they're here. No, they're not. It did go up? Okay. It must have gone up quicker than normal then. Because I looked up right after I hit it and I was like, oh, I didn't see it go up. I guess it went up really fast. Don't you dare go in the water, no! He's in the water. 
Yeah, at this point, uh, Kale, we've got like 800 Diamond Whitetail from herd management, so I only tax the ones that are like really unique. I, ta I tax primarily the wonky ones and then also the uh, 275 plus or 270 plus basket racks. And then, of course, any super rares get taxed. But with herd management, you get so many diamonds that if you tax them all, you'd go broke. How many zones am I using for the whitetail grind? I believe like 10 or 12. Let's see. One, two, three, uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine zones right now. Wow. We're only using nine zones. We were using 10, but then we stopped hunting that one. So we're currently hunting nine zones. I think that's the lowest amount we've ever hunted in this grind. Pretty crazy we've got down to nine zones. Boom. So sad it's 50-50 again. It is a little sad, but I'm also very happy that it's a good looking 50-50. I wish it was a full typical rack, but I will take a 50-50 that includes the typical rack and a really squished Kinsko rack. Like It's definitely the best 50-50 we could have got. That's for sure. If your zones are coming back all Doe Carter, that means that uh, the bucks have gone somewhere else. There's a couple different reasons why a zone would turn all Doe. Either you shot it down to one Doe, or it was a large herd. If it was one of the big, like, super herds, one of the mega herds, those typically just do not get their respawns back. What'll happen is they'll end up creating new zones. There we go. 46 kills in 44 minutes. Okay. No, Duck, we haven't took him down yet. We're stacking him to try and shoot down these extra zones that I don't like. Uh, we will kill it probably at the end of the stream unless I still can't get the zone that I want out of the grind. Completely out of the grind. Because there's uh, one zone that's being a little stubborn. It's like I just want to get one more level one in this zone down here. If I can get one more level one here, then we'll be good. We will be good. What zone is he in? One that I've never got a great one in. Uh, this zone down here. He's right down here. Which is really interesting. I've never had a great one spawn there. So kind of cool. Will I ever do a red deer grind again? Um, if they add more fur variations to the great one red deer, then I would. Or if they added new racks. That's, uh, that's really the only ways that I would go back to red deer hunting. Because we've already got all the different variations for red deer. Yeah, definitely, Duck. It, it spawned in a really cool spot. And it's the coolest looking great one we've ever got for Whitetail, so that's a win-win in my book. What the? What are you doing? Oh, holy, holy, holy. Trying to run us over. Man. Couple big bucks, too. Definitely not small. Would love an albino red deer great one, dude. That'd be so sick. Ah, uh, could you imagine the fabled silver from the fallow deer on a red deer? Oh my gosh, that would just be insane. Same with the mocha. Mocha on a red deer? Oh, that'd be fire. Wow, we finally got two bucks over there again. Yeah, things are looking good now. 
Things are really picking up in the grind now that we shot down um, this zone over here and have shot down the majority of this one. Uh, things are getting more consistent than they were a couple days ago, which is a huge step in the right direction for the grind. Uh, not sure, Silent Juggler. It depends on if people actually watch it. Obviously, like, since I do full-time content creation, if I if I just uploaded tons of classic, like, uh, the channel would probably decline because YouTube, they punish you for having a video that performs bad. It's honestly kind of unfortunate because I'd love to do more stuff like classic, but YouTube punishes you if a, if a video performs bad. But we'll definitely do it here and there, you know? We'll definitely do it here and there if, I, uh, if I'm having fun with it. Because at the end of the day, it's all about what I'm having fun with. How? How does YouTube punish you? So if you if you get an average of let let's say like right now with my Call of the Wild videos, it's an average of like ten to fifteen thousand views, right? If I have a video that gets like three thousand views, YouTube sees that, and so they share my next video to less people. So yeah, that's that's kind of how they punish you. If they see a decline in like interest in your channel. Uh, they just don't bother sharing it to people. They only share it to the people that, like, have been continuing to stay interested in it. And so, yeah, it can, it can hurt a channel if you just all of a sudden switch up games. That's why you see a lot of people, whenever they try to go to, like, a different genre of games, their channel just flat out dies. Why'd you skip the great one? Uh, we're stacking it to shoot down some of the exterior zones down to level ones. We will shoot it at some point. Don't worry. We will shoot it. But for now, we're stacking it to try and shoot down some of the other zones. Yeah, IRL hunting stuff is very commonly demonetized. That's the other thing. If you get a video... And, you know, YouTube doesn't even tell you this. You just have to figure it out for yourself, right? If you get a, a video uh, demonetized, it kills the reach of that video. Like, a video could be doing really good. If YouTube strikes it with demonetization, you'll immediately see that that video just... It just goes to a halt in terms of, like, view count. It's kind of crazy how much it punishes you for little things like that. Which is why you see a lot of, uh... Oh, that three wasn't big enough, guys. That three's not big enough. I want to stack the big threes. That's why you see, like, a lot of people that have IRL hunting channels, uh, like, uh, Flare, you know, uh, Kendall Gray, like, people that do the IRL hunting type of stuff, right? A lot of times, like, they have to stop showing the stuff that gets them demonetized otherwise people just won't get to see the videos because youtube will just stop recommending it i know quite a few of the uh like hunting channels where they used to get like insane views on some of their content and then like they started getting hit with uh demonetization and channel strikes and stuff and next thing you know their videos are getting like half the views they did before it's unfortunate that YouTube, like, punishes it that much. Like, it's bad enough that they're taking away those creators' ways of uh, making a living, right? But then they're also making it so people don't even get to see the videos half the time. Like, it's unfortunate the way YouTube works with limiting how much a video is recommended based on, like, performance of your previous videos or getting demonetized. It's unfortunate. It forces creators to have to make content that'll fit YouTube instead of making it exactly what they want. Like, you know, if I, if I really, if I really could, like every single video would be a great one grinding video or like a bird hunting video, but YouTube would probably punish me for that because it'd be too similar and not as many people would be interested in it in the core audience. And so they wouldn't share it. It's unfortunate, but YouTube's a weird place. YouTube's a weird freaking place, man. That's why a lot of uh, creators make a second channel. 
Which is why, if you guys have not already heard, we're going to be kind of reviving the second channel. For a long time, we've not really uploaded anything onto my second channel. But I figured that it would be the perfect time to start doing some of the other games on the second channel. So, stuff like Escape from Tarkov, Crab Champions, like games like that, they're going to be on my second channel from now on. And I'm going to make that channel like kind of like an all purpose, everything that's not called the wild type of channel. It'll be fun. There's the link to the second channel if you guys haven't subbed to it. I've already got a few videos up on there of like uh, sports cards and Pokemon card openings. And then I'm going to do like uh, games on there as well. And probably some IRL fishing and IRL hunting content too. We'll see. hg has been banned on the gun channel a lot. Yeah, yeah, that's how it be on YouTube. Unfortunately. You hate to see it, man. What rack? I'll show you in a second, Dusky. It's a pretty amazing one. It is quite the gorgeous whitetail. Well, uh, like maybe three or four more zones and we'll be to it. There we go. One singular buckaroo. So 53 minutes, we got 63 kills. That's actually really insane. Dude, if we could, if we do a full run without like moving tents around, we could easily hit 80 a run. We might have found the layout that gets us back to our uh, old glory of kills per hour. Boom. Smoked him. Ah, uh, the Great One spawned at like 12.30. It was just past midnight. So, like, uh, my daughter had just gone to bed like 15 minutes before the Great One spawned. And so, like, he spawns. I'm just chilling. I'm just laying back watching a podcast, right? And then I, I look through the trees, and at first I thought it was a full typical rack. And so I was like, I was like, oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. And then, like, I... I pulled the microphone down and I was just, I just, I, I was just staring at the thing like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my, oh my gosh. Like I couldn't yell cause my daughter's sleeping, but I think, I think you guys will still be able to tell I was excited. <laughs> no, not 80 a run, 80 an hour, 80 an hour, not 80 a run. You love the late night grinds? Yep, pretty much. I mean, it's not that I love the late night grinds. It's that if I want to hit 40 great ones before the next update, I need to grind all day, even when I'm not streaming or recording. I need to grind all the time if I'm going to get to 40 before the new update. Gonna be a real challenge, but I think we're up to it. I think we're up to the challenge. I mean, we're already up to 34. We were at 32 when I started that challenge. So I think we can do it. Let's see. Ah, he's being stubborn. Let's back out a little bit. Hold on, everybody. The food just arrived. My wife just delivered some amazing food. So I got to rearrange, uh, rearrange my desk a little bit. Okay. There we go. Is there a full typical great one? There is. That's uh, my all time goal for the great one grind is trying to get one of those. We've come so close twice, but never quite got it. Unfortunately. Now, if he would just show up, I can show you guys the great one for those that haven't seen him. 
Look at that beauty. So, the antler that's closest to us, that is a typical rack antler. But the one on the other side, that's from the Kinsko rack, but it's a squished variation of it, see? One of the coolest bucks we've ever got to spawn. I'm just blown away at this thing. It's just so beautiful, man. Just so freaking beautiful. Uh, yeah, Drawn, it is. Honest. Oh, that's a good point, Drawn. Maybe. Maybe that zone is just a really good zone. I think we may be onto something here, guys. I do think specific zones tend to spawn giants more often. Because, yeah, this is the second big trophy we've got in this zone. And then we were talking about earlier, like, our super rare albino was at Runaki. And so was, like, three or four of our great ones. I think four of our great ones spawned there. This lake has had, like, four great ones as well. And then we've had two great ones show up here. I think specific zones just really do produce larger trophies. Or, like, maybe it's, maybe it's not that. Maybe it's when they do spawn, they're more likely to spawn in those zones. I don't really know how it works, but it's fun to try and, like, predict and figure this stuff out. Because, like, we're definitely noticing some patterns. And this is definitely some patterns you wouldn't notice if you don't grind a lot of great ones. Like, if I just killed, like, three great ones, there's no way we'd even be able to, like, even begin to, like, try and decipher how this works. But I've definitely noticed that certain lakes have gave us more, like, quite a substantial amount more of great ones than other areas. Oh, there was one more. Hiding in the background, I see. Um, I don't like the face cam, Mason. I've used it before. It's just not my thing. Just not a fan of it. Alright, all five of them in there. We got another one back. Sixty-nine kills in one hour. Not bad, actually. We're moving in the right direction. If we hadn't been moving tents around, I'd I'd imagine we probably would have hit eighty. Probably would have hit eighty in an hour. For sure, I would say. <laughs> yeah, Zachy. <laughs> uh, no, Foxy. We haven't shot the great one. We're stacking it to try and shoot down some of our other zones. And it's worked out pretty good so far. We got rid of one of the zones I didn't want to hunt anymore. And actually, everything's been super consistent now. I'm pretty happy with how our herds are turning out. They're becoming very consistent and efficient. Hey, Zbon, how's it going? Wait, you were here earlier, right? Or am I tripping? I feel like you've been here. When grinding moose with HM, do you shoot level 2 males also? Uh, no, you leave the 2s. You want to leave the 2s if you're HMing moose. Ooh, that's a big boy 3. Okay, that's one that we will stack. We will stack that guy. That three is big enough to stack. Should shoot the great one with the Mosin? Have we killed a great one with the Mosin? I don't think we do. I don't think we've killed one with the Mosin, actually. That might be, yeah, that might be a good one to do. Uh, yeah, Diamond Deer Hunter. 
For Whitetail HM, you just want to leave the ones. Ah, no! <laughs> Last shot! Ah, I messed up there. Could've got him as well, but I screwed up. Feels bad, man. When are you gonna shoot it? Um, either at the end of the stream or next stream. We haven't decided yet. It depends on how quickly I can get the rest of these zones shot down. If I can get rid of the zones I don't want and reintroduce all the ones that I want to today, then we'll shoot it at the end of the stream. If not, then we'll probably have to postpone that until tomorrow. Because I want to use this opportunity to its max potential and get rid of the zones I don't like and uh, add back some of the zones I do like. But we will be for sure checking the uh, great one out multiple times throughout the stream. To make sure everybody gets a chance to see him. Because he is absolutely beautiful. An absolutely stunning buck, man. Like... How are you alive, bro? How are you alive? Ooh! That's a big boy. Of course, as I'm taking a bite of my food, a big boy shows up. Well, that's another to stack. Love to see it. So we got a great one and two threes stacked. This should make it really easy to shoot down all those other zones. Like, that's a, that's a big three there. That'll really uh, drive up the average score. Uh, Hess Truck Man, thank you so much for the super chat. Really appreciate it. Multiplayer luck is nuts. Diamond Red Deer and Water Buffalo. Nice. That's awesome. Grass, that's super awesome. You love to see it. Oh, <laughs> yes, it's, oh my gosh. How many great ones do I have? Uh, 34 with the guy on the map. There he is for those that have not seen him. Absolute beast. Literally the nicest great one we've ever got. For Whitetail, at least. Uh, no mess. They're an uncommon. Yeah, Hamza, he's insane looking. Absolute monster. I just love it. So happy we got a good looking one to spawn. So freaking cool. Also, guys, if I'm not talking as much, it's because I'm finishing my food. Got to get that lunch down, you know.
What am I eating? Um, a Whopper Junior from Burger King. First time I've had one in like six years. They're not as good as I remember. I feel like Burger King has declined in recent years. I mean, they were never like my number one pick, but I feel like they used to be a little better than this. It's still not bad though, I guess. Yeah, Zach. <laughs> it wasn't too bad. You know, it wasn't too bad. Oh, this one's not actually dry, uh, Zach. This one's actually... They put a lot of the sauce and stuff on there. Kind of a shocker, I know. Uh, no, Johan, we haven't. We're stacking him to try and get some of the uh, other zones shot down. Surprising, normally it's all dry. I know, I was kind of surprised myself. Because the last time I went to Burger King was like three years ago, and I never went after that because it was just so bad. This is definitely an improvement over that, but still not up to the quality that they were, you know, like 10 years ago. Ten years ago, they actually weren't too bad. Ten years ago, they were decent. You don't gotta spam, banana. You don't gotta spam. I saw it the first time. That is late, though. That is late indeed. Have I tried their chicken fries? Uh, yes. I haven't had them in literally over 10 years, though. Back when they first got them, they were really good. I've heard they're not good nowadays, though. I've heard that they have gone downhill, too. Like, pretty much everything Burger King related. There we go. Not bad. Oh, I do too, uh, Wet Al. I do prefer DQ over Burger King for sure. And Five Guys over every single other fast food chain. Oh, really, Huntress? Wow. That's crazy. I, you know, I have heard that, like, depending on where you live, like, a lot of, uh, a lot of restaurant chains are quite different. Alright, we didn't get our respawns that run. Weird. Nothing happened to it, uh, Metzrul. Believe it or not, Scarecrow's a psychopath that, uh, grinds multiple species at once and does it all day. <laughs> That's our big three that we're stacking. I don't think we got any respawns here. I don't think we did. Oh yeah, I've never heard of it, Zebon. Never heard of Zips before. All right, now we can fast travel over here without spooking them. 
Ow, I just bit my lip. Feels bad, man. Feels bad. Okay, this one got the respawns. Uh, no, Chris. We haven't killed it yet. We're stacking it for now. And then we'll kill it once we're done shooting down the external zones. We'll be going past it quite a bit. Uh, QT, just so you know, if you keep spamming the same question, that's going to make it less likely that I'll resp respond to it because you're spamming. So if you want a question answered, just ask it once. And if I don't reply, maybe ask it like 15, 20 minutes later. Please don't spam it. Makes it tough for other people to get their messages through. If all I see is a sea of the same spammed message. There he is once again. Beautiful. Beautiful. Thankfully, I feel like this zone down here is not going to get any more respawns. Yeah, still nothing has come back here, thankfully. Uh, it's 50% typical rack. Not a full typical. What's the point of stacking? I've seen it in videos, but still don't understand it. So, stacking is used to make more low levels show up on your map. That's the only purpose of it. So like uh, in for my for my grind, I've got nine zones that I consider my main grinding zones. Right, these nine zones are the zones that I grind to go for my great ones. And so I want every other zone on the map to be level ones, or as many of them as I can possibly get. Uh, but at a certain point, the game just gets to a point where it will not spawn any more level ones because you've got too many of them on the map. So. You can stack diamonds and great ones to make it so you can get a couple extra level ones to show up, further pushing your herd management to like new heights. So that's the point of it. And so you want to stack the threes and if you want to, the great ones as well in your main zones. So if they show up in my main nine zones, I would leave them. And then once I get a bunch of them stacked up, I can go around to some of my other zones that I normally don't hunt and try to shoot some of the remaining twos down to level ones. And then once I've got all of them down to level ones, I can go back to my main zones, shoot all the diamonds, shoot the great one, and then all the respawns from then on should on average come back as level threes much more often. Honestly, I should clip that. That's probably good for a YouTube short. I think that's like the best description I could give of it. Usually I have trouble explaining it right, but I think I actually did okay there. Uh, no, we didn't shoot the great one yet. We're stacking him for now. We're stacking him to try and get some of my other zones shot down. How far apart does he set his tents away from the drinking zones? Usually about 200 meters. But it depends on how the zone is set up too. When am I taking down the great one? Either the end of this stream or the next stream. I haven't decided which, it depends on how quickly we get the rest of the map managed down. Because we're trying to uh, Im introduce a few other zones to our grind and get rid of some others to make it a more efficient grind. That's our three. 
Then we got two level twos that spawned here. That's nice. Boom. How many kills did it take to get this great one? 2,271. One of our longest great one whitetail grinds of all time. I'm just happy that it was worth it. I'm just happy that it ended with one of the coolest great ones I've ever seen. So I'd, I'd say it was worth the extra long grind. I'll take it, man. Did I get anything good earlier from playing the angler? What do you mean earlier? I haven't played the angler in a few days. But uh, the last time I did, I got a couple pretty big gold lake trout. That's all I can think of though. Didn't have anything too crazy from what I remember. But it's been a few days, so I may be forgetting something. Wait, was that another buck? No. Hey, there's a three. We could leave him. Can we see him? Yes, fun brother, we will. We will take a look at him for sure. You can count on that. Hey, Faded, how's it going, dude? How's it going, Faded? There we go, and one more. Do you want any ones in your main zones? Uh, it depends. If I have a zone that's like three bucks and one doe, I'd want to keep one level one in there. That way I don't shoot the zone down to nothing. Uh, if you've got a zone that's maybe like three bucks and two does, you could leave one one. As long as you have two bucks to shoot out of the zone, you're usually fine. In most cases, you can't kill more than two out of a zone anyway with the spook uh, timing. That's a diamond too. So like as long as you, like right here, I've got four bucks and one doe. So I've just kept two of the uh, bucks as ones. Because I don't really need four shootable bucks in one zone, right? Because I wouldn't be able to kill them all in one go anyways. What is the best non-franchise burger you've had? Like so from something that isn't fast food? Ooh. It was like a local, local place growing up. Not going to say the name for obvious reasons. But, uh, they had a really freaking good burger. Oh my gosh. Like, absolutely fire. They they always stuffed their, like, uh, double cheeseburgers, or, like, double bacon cheeseburgers, like, super full. It was, it was great. It was amazing. Alright, so let's get a little look at our zones real quick. Uh, we need to check over here. Okay, no new bucks have shown up there. I think this zone is done getting males. Honestly, we might already be shot down for the most part. We might be shot down for the most part. I do need to implement this zone back into the grind. And I need to make sure this one doesn't get anything. But I can check that from here, to be honest. I can remove this tent, I think. Uh, we'll do that after this run is over, though. Uh, cause I don't want to be on bears, Collins. That's why. I don't want to be hunting bears right now. The Godzilla, it has a quarter pound each of sausage and beef. A over hard egg, caramelized onions, Swiss and American cheese melted over it. The side of onion- oh my gosh, that sounds insane, Zach. That sounds ridiculous. I want it. <laughs> that sounds like something I need to try, man. That sounds pretty insane. All right, white tail. <laughs> it's 
smoked him. Ooh, for sure, Hunters. That sounds awesome. Can't go wrong there. You really can't. Cannot go wrong with that. No, we haven't shot it yet. We have not shot it yet. We're using this opportunity to shoot down some of our other zones. There he is. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Beautiful man. What a beautiful beast. All right, let's see. We need to go grab this tent right here. What's my favorite gun in the game? Uh, the 308 AR. 308 AR is just so freaking good. Honestly, a powerhouse. What grind should you set up? Ooh. How about... I'm gonna go outside of the box on this one. Colored peccary. How about a colored peccary grind? Try to get some of those rares, cause... I mean, colored peccary rares? They're rare. I don't see hardly anybody getting them. They are like proper rare. What size level twos do I leave like bottom estimate wise? Oh, I don't pay attention to estimates, Tuxedo. It's all based on the rack for me. For the, uh... For, or are you talking about, wait, are you talking about the moose? If you're talking about moose, leave every two. Doesn't matter what it looks like, every single two has to be left for HMing the uh, moose. And then you can leave the threes that have the same rack as a level two as well. Okay, we got him. He's going down. Uh. Well then. Rest in pieces. Yeah, maybe we don't want to implement that zone over here. They spook. I, I forgot about that. They spook like immediately. Unfortunate. Do I leave fence rack twos? No, I don't. Unless it's like the... Unless I'm towards the end of stacking all the ones. If I'm like to a point where most of my zones are shot down and there's just like a couple that aren't, then... Then I'll uh, leave a couple fence rack twos, but... Try not to leave a ton of them. Because they score like 20 points higher than the ones do. Like, a fence rack 2 and a fence rack 1 are quite different in uh, size and score. Ah, uh, no, Red Warrior, we don't. Hopefully soon, though. Uh, we've already done crossbow before, uh, Garrett. Everybody wanted me to use the Mosin. So we're gonna use the Mosin on the, uh, great one. Either later in the stream or the next stream, Andy. Probably later in this one, but if not, then it'll be the one after. One or the other. A 
approaching 100 kills in this grind right here. Two thirty five. What's my favorite great one fallow combination? Uh, the mocha fur type and then the blade rack. Yeah, that's the three. Nice, Connor. That's awesome, dude. Sounds like a fun time, man. Sounds like a real fun time. Ah, oh, you freaking deer. Get back over here. Live in Texas and woke up like one hour ago. Oh, gosh, Jaguar. Feels bad, man. That's a that's a late day for you. No, we haven't shot the great one yet. We have not shot it yet. Should you do white tail or moose again? Uh, white tail faded. White tail for sure. Just because of all the crazy like combos you can get with their antlers. The amount of wonk that the whitetail have, love it. So I'd say go for another whitetail. You know what guys, honestly, I kind of think our map's in a good enough state. I don't think we need to really stack anymore. To be honest, I'm just getting impatient. I want to go shoot this beast. I want to go shoot this thing. So let's kill all the threes. And then we will see. We'll go grab the great one. Let's shoot all the threes and then we will uh, get our great one. We should probably finish this run first and then go through the whole map. Yeah, we'll finish the run. We will finish our run and then we'll take him out. Actually, instead of shooting the diamonds first, let's shoot the great one first. Let, let's just shoot the great one first. I'll put out the notif in the discord. There we go. We'll take down these two bucks and then we're going to shoot the great one. There we go. Uh, Artemis, thank you for the super chat, dude, or super sticker, I should say. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Really appreciate it, dude. Let's get this great one down. Let's main menu first, because I'm pretty sure we looked at him and spooked him at the beginning of the run. All right, you guys wanted to see the Mosin take down this beast of a buck, so let us get the Mosin ready. Let's get it all customized and nice looking. Oh, 
Honestly, that looks pretty fire. That looks pretty fire right there, man. I guess you could call it the Camozen. I'm sorry, I'll stop. <laughs> uh, uh, I had to, I had to say that. <laughs> Just, uh, oh man. All right, let's take him down. Let's get this big old beast on the ground. We're gonna stock up on him and get a good close up. Come back to that. You're welcome, Johnny. You're welcome. What a knee slapper. <laughs> I'm sorry I had to. Oh, oh gosh. I'm sorry I had to, man. Had to. It's like required that I make one bad dad joke every stream. It's a requirement. There he is. So this, this lake has wind trouble. Last night I tried to get close for pictures and I spooked him because the wind shifted. So I got to loop all the way around. We got to loop all the way around for this guy. What should you grind Whitetail on? Either Revontuli or Layton. Both are really good. I recommend both of them, to be honest. Camozen. Yep, the Camozen. Yeah, fun, brother. We hit a thousand members. It's been a crazy day. And now we're going to get to take down literally the coolest great one I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah, Johnny. <laughs> hey, I try, you know. If I'm not making bad dad jokes, am I really doing my job correctly? There he is, man. Ah, oh, he looks so good. I love it. I love how this guy looks. Honestly, just so insane. Let's get this beast down. Hey, Summer Smart, how's it going? Well, you made it to the to the perfect stream. We're about to take down one of the coolest great ones I've ever got to spawn. Look at that beauty. Also, one of my old tripods from like two years ago that I've just never removed. Back when we used to grind blacktail deer here. Actually, that would have been like three years ago. Jeez. That was like three years ago that I set that up. What rack? Uh, the rack is 50% the Kinsco rack, 50% the typical rack. It's a 50-50 it's a rack. Thought he'd be bigger? There's only one rack that's like super huge for the Great One Whitetail. All the others are either mid-size or small. This one's probably more realistic than a lot of them. This guy really looks like uh, what a big non-typical would look like in real life. Aside from like farm deer, obviously. Farm deer obviously look crazier. When are we getting the full typical rack? Hey, that's what I'm saying, man. I want that thing. I want the full typical rack really badly. Is this Layton? It is. This is Layton Lakes. Love me some Layton. Yeah, KJP, you did. You joined right as we're stocking up on him to get the shot. Now, the problem is... The Mosin has an accuracy issue where it shoots like an inch or two to the right and slightly low. 
But at this distance, that shouldn't be a problem. I think we should be able to nail him. But it still gets me a little scared, you know? Let's get ready. Down he goes. Down he goes. I still hate that reload animation for the Mosin. Why did they make it so it does that? That was not like that, like, three or four updates ago. Or even two updates ago. Not a fan of how it kicks you out of the scope. But, it is what it is. We got him down. Look at that monster. I, I honestly am just so blown away. We got, like, one of the coolest and wonkiest Great One Whitetail ever. Now... Question is, do I risk it for some photos? No, nah, I already got pictures of him while he was alive. Let's claim him. 338. Oh my gosh, look at him. Oh, it's so beautiful, man. Oh, this is everything I wanted in a great one for the most part. Look at him. Oh my gosh, that's so sick, man. You got that little crab claw going on. What a giant, man. I love this deer. I love this deer so much. This is everything I wanted in a great one, Whitetail. Aside from not having a full typical rack still, this is like the second best. Jeez, man. Name him Zach? We can do this. This is Zach right here. Since Zach has gave us so many <laughs> memberships the last few days, we can do that. That's the least I can do. Uh, legit Flair, thank you for the super chat. Got a great one, uh, typical rack, great one moose, and 400 kills. Dude, that is awesome. A two-tone one, too. Jeez. Look at this beast. I love how squished that antler is. Like, just look at that. Look how squished this is. I've never seen a Kinsko Rack antler get this squished and weird. Like, this is just so good. Oh my gosh, man. I could just look at him for, for days. I could. 338, absolute beast. Oh, of course, Cooper. We're still going to be whitetail grinding. The goal is 40 great ones before the new update. I got to keep grinding, man. Um, thanks. I mean, you said you wanted us to name one after you, Zach. Remember? I think it was like a week ago, week and a half ago. You said you wanted one named after you. So here it is. Oh, you said bear. Okay, well we can do the uh, we can do the bear if you'd prefer the bear. I still got to get that bear though. Time to switch to bears. Not if I want to hit forty great ones. We'll do some bears, but I'm not doing bears today. I'm not gonna take the mood of the stream down by going to bears. Jeez, so insane. So insane. Oh, wait, look at that. I didn't realize that. This, that tines bent backwards too. That's normally not like that, I don't believe. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys, but I don't think this tine is usually bent backwards behind it. I think it comes out of, to the side normally. This is just that bent that it's making that go backwards. Truax is a wonderful thing. It really is. Truax is a wonderful thing, man. It gives us variety like this with the Great Ones. Is that a typical rack? It's 50-50. Half typical rack, half Kinsko rack. But man, this thing is sick. I think I've taken like 20 screenshots. That is disgusting. It's disgustingly amazing, bro, bro. I love it. This is my favorite Great One. The only thing I don't like is the color of the antlers is a little bit different. Other than that though, pretty fire. Sheesh. The great one whitetail is down. 
Now, the question is, can we make it so we get two great ones today? Uh, we got the- we got some threes on the map, so let's go kill the threes. Uh, do I have any threes at this? Like, I can't remember. Next one, I know, right? That's its back scratcher. <laughs> apparently, apparently that's what it is. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? Yeah, up update the counter for sure. Boom. Great one number 34. Let's freaking go, man. Let's go. All right, so this run we're just shooting the threes real quickly. So we're going to skip past the twos. Name that great one Potato? Are you calling my great one ugly? Are you calling my great one ugly? Because that's usually what Potato means. How, how dare you be rude to my great one? He is beautiful. He is beautiful. I'd say yes, Johnny. I mean, like I always say, if you stop, you have no way of knowing if it was just around the corner. That's why I'm still doing like an hour of bear grinding here and there because like it could be just around the corner. If you stop, you'll never know. There is... there he is. There's our level three. We're going to blast all these threes, and then we'll go through again and shoot the rest of them. I mean, I guess when you think of it... I guess when you think of it, Tater... Great one grinding is kind of like gambling. You're literally rolling the RNG slots every single time that you shoot a, uh, a deer. Every time you shoot a deer, it's like you're rolling the slot machine, right? And you got you got that ever so slight chance that a great one shows up, but most of the time you're not going to win. Most of the time you're going to get a level two buck. All right, let's find the threes that were here. Random one. Yes, we did just kill the great one. We just killed it. Where's that other three? Oh yeah, it's over here. This one's over here, that's right. I don't think he's gonna make it, man. That does not look like a diamond at all. That does not look like a diamond. A uh, single player coda. I wouldn't be grinding in multiplayer. It's not worth it. It's not worth great one grinding in multiplayer. Unless you're like just doing it with a couple friends. But like in random multiplayer, it's not worth it. Ugh, troll. Disgusting troll. Ew. Oh, it really is, bro, bro. It really is. I sent it in there because I figured like it really showcases what they've done to their game how they've like slowly slowly killed their own game off pokemon go will never be what it used to be unless they make some major changes do it johnny i i guarantee you gotta have one within the next thousand kills that's my prediction one within the next thousand kills boom that's a diamond Beautiful. Now we had one more stacked level three. And it's a thick boy. Look at him. He thick. He freaking thick. Nice. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's unfortunate, Jaguar. It's unfortunate. I hope they can eventually improve their game again. Because Pokemon Go at its peak was really fun. And then they've slowly just uh, reverted the changes that made it fun. It was 71 max weight. Boom. That is a monster right there. That is a beast. Now, let's go to the last zone. I can't remember if anything was there. I mean, maybe something spawned. Ugly, he looks pretty though. Yeah, he looks amazing. I don't think he's ugly. I think the uh, I think that great one we just got looks amazing. It's definitely my favorite great one I've ever killed for Whitetail. Okay, those did not respawn. So, that brings this run to an end. Now we can get back to just blowing through all of our zones like normal. <laughs> yeah, Ender. <laughs> I still play it because, you know, it's something to do in my free time, but I don't, I don't uh, play it as much as I used to. Yeah, that'd be crazy unknown. That'd be so good, though. Oh, I would love it if we get another great one today. I mean, if history repeats itself, we've had a couple situations where we got a great one like a few hundred after getting another great one. So maybe if we're lucky, we'll get another one. It's been like a hundred kills since that one spawned, so... We've already been grinding for a little bit since uh, we got him to spawn. Well, I'm assuming you're talking about a 271 Jaguar. Right? A 271 probably? Okay, there's a three. I think we got him. Maybe. Maybe. Trying to think of a better angle. I mean, we could hunt that zone from over here. I think I've got an idea for this lake. We have an extra tent, right? Yeah, we do. We have an extra tent. I could put a tent here, hunt this zone, and fast travel over here to hunt this zone, you know? That might work out good. We'll have to test it out. I just need a better angle for that zone. I just need a better angle for it, man. Yeah, I figured you meant 271. 271 definitely sounds more accurate. Another time. Beautiful. Pretty big for a small rack, to be honest. Let's see if we ended up hitting this guy. I think we did. Yeah, we did. Medium bleed rate, so that's not a bad hit. It's not insane, but it's not a bad hit either. Miss anything? Yes, we took out our great one. We took down the great one. And a few diamonds. Thank you, B-Heart. Can I do multiplayer? Not today. Not today. We're a great one grinding uh, today. We'll probably do multiplayer at some point in the next week, though. I've been doing uh, multiplayer games with Brobra a decent bit. Uh, because of hunting towers and tripod stands and blinds and stuff like that, Bulin, if you're in any type of hunting structure, it will decrease the amount of pressure by a lot. Oh, did not mean to actually place it. I was just checking to see if we had a structure available. And it placed it. Got to make sure we're still within, like, 150. 
Okay, this is already a better angle. So much better angle. Man, I remember when we had a zone right here. Don't know where it ended up going when we deleted it. Feels bad that we don't have that zone anymore. It was a really good one. Such a good zone, man. That zone, I think we had got two great ones out of before we deleted it. It was tragic. It was quite tragic. Later, Cooper. Thank you for dropping in. What is my hunter's name? I have no clue. Like, like my account name? Just Scarecrow. Hey, Toyota, how's it going, dude? Three bucks here. Love to see it. Sometimes all you need to do is just hit that last one good enough where I can't get away. Oh, we got it. <laughs> okay, I got to swap the Mosin off. That was only for the great one. I don't need it for anything else, especially with that weird bolt racking animation. Just, no, that, that ain't it. That ain't it. That ain't it at all. Let's see, what do we want? You know what? Let's switch it up. Let's put the 303 in this other slot instead of the 7 mil. I kind of like that idea. Go with that instead of the 7 mil. Just to switch it up in our second slot. Hey, Rise, how's it going? How many right here drink zones should you have in Tiabaro for the Great One grind? Um, I think it's like 60 or something like that. I don't fully remember. It's been a while since I've hunted them. I'm sure somebody in chat probably knows. No, we did, bro, bro. We shot him. We already shot the Great One. I pinged the Discord and let everybody know when we were doing it. If you want to know the, that type of stuff, get notified recommend jumping into the discord and uh becoming a part of the community that way you'll always get notified whenever we do something what should you grind white tail or red deer uh i would say white tail but you know me i'm quite biased towards the white tail Three bucks there. Oh, we got all three. Holy. Number four. Yeah, our grind is getting super efficient now. Oh my gosh. I think we could probably... It's a pretty insane numbers of kills an hour. We'll have to see, but I think we're about to surpass 80 an hour. Once it hits two hours in the stream, we'll start, uh, we'll pay attention to how many kills we're at and see how many we get by the end of that hour. How long is the stream? Uh, usually with these whitetail streams, they're like four to eight hours. We're currently two hours in, so there should be plenty of time left. But it partially depends on like how long I feel like streaming.
Really, bro? You not gonna die on me? Come on, man. Really? Later, Whiskers. Thank you for dropping in. Later, Jaguar. They're still all the same, thankfully. Okay, we got two there. Big one. Oh yeah, this is this is gonna be a fast grind now. This is gonna be an efficient grind. Look how quick we're blasting through these now. Yes, yeah, say hey, Michael, I want Australia to hurry up and come out as well. Oh, didn't make it. He did not make it. He had a chance, but he didn't quite. Yeah, bro, bro. It's how it's got to be if I want to hit that 40 mark. At least with the whitetail, I enjoy the hunting. Unlike the bears. <laughs> bears, like, two hours is a struggle. Does collecting animals after killing them do anything to help the respawns of grinds? Oh, definitely, Fenderbender. Definitely. Uh, Jaxi didn't specify why, but on one of the live streams recently, he kind of hinted that in order to get great ones, you need to claim your kills, so... It 100% does affect it. Most of the community had already assumed that, just because people that weren't claiming them were not getting great ones as fast as people that were claiming them. But yeah, you definitely need to claim as many of your kills as you can. I try to claim at least 95% of mine. A few missed here and there will not kill your grind, but... It's good to get as many of them as you can. Maybe, Nutri, maybe. Hopefully. There's the respawn of our great one. Crazy. Our great one respawned is that or that. One one or the other. One of these is his respawn. Jeez. And that brings us to the next hour. So we finished that run like right on time. So let's time it. Let's see how many we can kill in the next hour. I believe so, bro, bro. I think so. I believe they did. So we're going to start our run right now. We're at 118 kills on the grind. If we can make it to 218 within the next hour, that'll be like, that's my goal. Because that's how many kills we used to get. We used to get a hundred per hour. If we could ever get ourselves back there, oh my gosh, the grinds would go so fast. Three buckaroos there. Oh. Is what it is. Don't even have hers at that lake. Can't say how many times I've checked. Yeah, it happens, Fellblade. Everybody's map is a little bit different. Like, even on my uh, new account playthrough, or not new account playthrough, but the no DLC playthrough. I have deer in places that I've never seen them on my main account. It's wild, like, how much variance there is. How do how do I get the whitetail to be here every time? Uh, it's because I've hunted the map thousands of kills. So at this point, like, the more you hunt your herds, the more they break down into smaller herds and they get more consistent because there's less places they can go. Um, 
I'm also only hunting a few select zones, which makes it so there's not as many places for the respawns to distribute to. I mean, really all there is to it is just hunt your hunt your zones a lot. Eventually over time, they'll start to even out and settle into their zones. It's kind of hard to explain because like, I know not everybody's got the time to hunt literally thousands upon thousands of white-tailed deer, but I do feel like that is part of what makes them kind of get consistent, because at the beginning my grind was not consistent at all. For those of you that were here at the beginning of our white-tail grind, months and months and months ago, you guys will probably remember how much we had to move around the map. How much we were constantly moving our tents and things. It didn't start out efficient. It took thousands of kills. But eventually, like, the deer kind of settle in because some of the bigger herds that don't get respawns, uh, those respawns will go into other places. And then when you finally figure out where that new herd ended up, that herd will usually be more consistent. Because of the fact that it's got less deer. I've noticed that any herd above six animals for whitetail does not get respawns until you shoot it below six. Really strange, and I don't know why it does that, but that's something I've noticed recently. Big herds don't get their respawns very reliably. Only four kills here. Hey Maverick, how's it going? Uh, the great one was a 50-50 of the typical rack and the Kinsko rack. It's a really cool deer. Super happy with it. I have one of the PGA games. Brobra does too. I don't know which one it is. I think we have 2K21, right? I believe so. Seems like sweet spot is five deer. For sure, Fellblade. Like, most of my good zones are herds of five. They seem to be the most uh, reliable herds. Most reliable and consistent. We've already killed 10 deer in five minutes. Oh, we might be, we might be on the path to greatness. We might be able to return to our old levels of insanity with kills per hour. Especially if these zones continue to be consistent like this. Oh man, oh man. Oh, I whiffed that last shot, but we got him. No, don't place waypoint. Fast travel. Honestly, there needs to be like a um, like a new feature for fast traveling. Like maybe you could press middle mouse button down on top of the tent and it'll fast travel. That way you don't have a freaking drop down menu to cycle through and accidentally misclick on. That would be a really cool quality of life feature. Just being able to press middle mouse or like pressing down on the analog stick on console to like fast travel. That way you don't have to go through the the list of different options. It would really speed things up. Because there's sometimes where I'm trying to be quick with clicking and I just, I click place waypoint instead of fast travel. That'd be such a cool feature, I think. Probably not, Cody. Probably not. No bears today. I, I'm having a fun day because of that great one. I don't want to, <laughs> I don't want to ruin my day with bears. We all know how... Terrible the bears have been for me in terms of, like, great ones. I don't want to bring the mood down with bears. Because I'm having a lot of fun right now. We're doing we're doing pretty awesome with these whitetail. Hey, Zidion, how's it going? Or is it Zidon? Uh, Zidon, how's it going, dude? Hope you're doing good. 
Can't wait to customize tripods. I don't believe it's tripods, right? I think it's just uh, tents and ground blinds. Pretty sure that's what it said in the notes was, or in that little post they made. Oh, I'm still trying with the bear, Johnny. Which is not, like, as often, because I don't have fun with it. I mean, we grinded the bear last stream a little bit. I'm just not going to grind them every stream. Um, I believe gold is at 12 months, uh, Tragic. I believe gold is 12 months. I use penetration rounds for pretty much everything in Call of the Wild. Uh, the ones that give expansion aren't good for a lot of things. They have some uses, but not a ton of them. Also, guys, 16 kills that run. 16 kills in one run, and we did a run in eight minutes. If we keep this pace up, we'll get 120 an hour. I mean, I think we're going to have a bad run at some point, so it'll slow it down, but we might be able to break 100 still. It's all going to be dependent on whether or not these deer cooperate every single run. So far, the respawns are looking good. They're looking consistent. That's like two runs in a row where they all showed up properly. 120 would be insane. It would. That would be back to pre-spook range change levels. Before they changed the spook range, we were able to get 120 an hour. And then they nerfed it, and we started getting 100 an hour. Then we went back to herd management, and it went down to like 70 an hour. Now that we're getting our herd management more refined, it's definitely bumping up. I mean, we're looking at potentially 100, 120 this, uh, this hour. Like that right there. That's the type of lineups we need. We need them to line up like that so I can just go pop, pop, claim, claim, and then go pop, pop on these as well. Only one respawn there, but it is what it is. We've already killed 19 in nine minutes. Holy. Or 10 minutes. I mean, technically, we started this run at 201, so... Yeah, technically, it is nine minutes. Nine minutes so far. Oh, there was another buck there that we didn't see. Imagine it's a freaking great one or something. Do you imagine I just pick up a great one track and it's like, Oh my gosh, great one! Yes, we did shoot the great one. Easily the coolest great one we've had. I'm, I'm so happy with him. Got a nice little three there. You know, I'm not going to bother. Two is good enough. <laughs> Thank you, Gallum. Or Gallium. What did I shoot it with? I shot it with the Mosin. We used the good old Mosin on it. Boom! That's a diamond. Diamond buckaroo. Not going to spend too much time looking at it, though, because I want to time us and see where we end up. Oh, yeah, Zevin, I can imagine. Yeah, it depends, uh, Ruin. I've seen, I've seen a few people on console that are really freaking good with a controller. It's all about what you get used to and how much time you put into practicing. I mean, it's something you got to keep in mind is I've, I've spent 5,500 hours using keyboard and mouse, so... That's why I'm so good with keyboard and mouse. Like, I'm, I wasn't this good two years ago. Two years ago, I would never have been able to kill as many deer as I do. 
in a short amount of time nowadays. Wait. Did we get blocked by this limb? Oh no. I think we got blocked by that branch. That's ridiculous. Come on, man. Of all the things to block a bullet, why? I've shot through there so many times. Why did it block it this time? <laughs> That's just bad luck, man. That's just bad luck. How long ago did I shoot it? I don't know the exact time. Probably... 30 minutes ago, 20 or 30 minutes. If I were to take a guess. Alright, we've killed 23. 23 and 13 minutes. We're definitely slowing down because the deer are being weird. This is kind of what I was saying. Like, I feel like we're not going to hit 120 an hour. Just because we're going to get some zones that are misbehaving like this. Some of these zones just don't behave all the time, unfortunately. Alright, Maverick. No worries, dude. No worries, man. Yeah, misbehaving zones are the killer for a run like this. Not even going to get anything out of that zone because they didn't respawn. It's unfortunate, but you know, it is what it is. There he is. It's a three. Hey. The big boy three, actually. Where were you hiding, sir? <laughs> got him. It's going to slow the run down, but we got him. We got him down. 24 kills in 15 minutes. I mean, we're still ahead. We're still ahead of the normal time. Yeah, he didn't hecticled. He got smoked. He got absolutely smoked. 308 doing its job. 27356. That's a big one. That's our biggest of the day for diamonds. Not quite tax worthy, but really nice still. Liver and lunged him. Beautiful. All right, later, Johnny. Hope you feel better soon. Hope you feel better soon. Oh. Another big boy three. We got another big boy three here. Two zones in a row. Okay, that zone went much quicker. That's definitely better. Assuming there'll be a video soon? Yes, there will be. Either tomorrow or the day after we'll do the Great One video. Um, I don't know which day. I've got other videos planned already. That's a tight tip to tip spread one. 260. Wild. Why don't I tax diamonds on a grind? Because we're doing herd management, uh, Zinxify. So herd management increases the chances of diamonds spawning. So right now we get a diamond every 15 to 20 kills. So I don't tax them unless they're wonky, uh, above 275 or like a really, really high scoring one for its, uh, for its rack type. Yes, Zachy, you did miss it. 
I put a ping out in the Discord. I don't know if you saw it or not, but we already killed him a while ago. Like 30 minutes or so? 30 minutes ago or so? Maybe a little more even? But now we've got- we've been getting threes everywhere. We have three threes in three zones. Holy! Yeah, you missed it, Aizen. You missed it. Literally the coolest great one I've ever seen. I'm so happy with it. I know, right, Zacky? That's what I'm saying. We, we gotta spawn another. That's a troll. We gotta spawn another. Uh, yes, Apollo, you can. You can start herd management at any time. All it is is just not shooting ones and shooting the other stuff, so it can be started literally any time. Thank you, Aizan. I appreciate that. It was at an hour and 35 minutes in. Got you. Okay. That makes sense. That seems about where it would have been. Hey, Christopher, how's it going? We did. We took the great one already. All right, we've killed 29 Whitetail in 18 minutes. Yeah, we're definitely... We're definitely going to hit, like, 70 or 80. For sure, 80, I think. But we got a very strong chance that we could get close to 100 with this new uh, layout of zones. That's the buck we missed last time. Uh, when I feel like grinding Black Bear, Hayden, I just haven't been in the mood for Black Bear. Black Bear is something where I gotta be, I gotta be feeling the grind. Today isn't one of those days. Maybe tomorrow, though. I'm thinking we'll do some bears tomorrow. Probably do a mix of bears and whitetail tomorrow. Is there anything on Australia? If you're talking about, like, new news? No. No new news. When am I continuing the cape grind? Uh, not sure, Wilger. It's a, it's a backseat grind, so... The capes is only... Something we're doing, like... Once we're not doing other grinds, right? It's like a secondary grind. We started it, but I don't even know if we'll ever continue it, to be honest. Because the Great One grinds, for me, take precedence over the, uh, cape grind. Plus, we got the fallow grind coming up soon, so, like... We're gonna be, uh... We're gonna be focused on fallow deer soon enough. Um, uh, maybe, Fox. You see, my thought process is, like, if we get another great one to show up this stream, I'd want to keep- I'd want to keep going and see if we can get that luck to continue. But maybe. If we get another great one, maybe we'll go over to Bears. We'll see. We'll play it by ear. As with everything, we'll play it by ear. Uh, yes, Bull, and there is going to be another great one with the, uh, next update. It's gonna be the great one, Fallow Deer. Pretty exciting stuff. Really excited for it. Man, this zone's broken right now. They're just not popping out. You stupid whitetail. Go to your zones. Gosh. Go to your zones. There we go. Oh, 
Oh, for sure, Aizan, for sure. He is a beast. An absolute beast, I tell ya. Yes, Camden, we did. We shot it already. Is she grind for a big albino Sika? Maybe. Thing is, I'm going to be setting up for Fallow on Tiaboro most likely, so... I don't know if I want to uh, set up another grind until it's Fallow time. What part of the stream did I shoot it? Somebody said it was like an hour and 35 into the stream. Hey Scott, how's it going? Yeah, iBuy's done HM for Fallow a long, long time ago. He's already got super rare Fallow deer, I'm pretty sure. Because he's grinded them before. Nothing there, I don't think. No, they're not resetting all maps. They're only resetting Fallow Deer. Let's see what we got in this zone. Nothing. Alright, so the last few zones. Not looking good with the respawns. Yeah, Pike for sure, dude. For sure. Proxy K is cool. Yeah, some of these just did not uh, respawn. Feels bad, man. Feels bad. Most of them did, but there was a few that didn't. Ah, I went to the wrong tent! Oh, man. Oh, well. Now that I think of it, this actually would work out, too. As long as I travel to the other tent over there, we'll be good. We shouldn't spook this uh, this group if I go over there first. Is that another buck there? Yes, it is. Beautiful. Love to see it. No clue, Mason. Probably not. I don't feel like bear hunting today. Bears are meh. That's how I feel about bears. They're meh. JP, thank you for the five gifted. Holy. Thank you so much, dude. Really appreciate it. Really appreciate it. Congrats to uh, Scott, uh, TVT, Maverick, Nappy, and Skull Slayer. You guys all got gifted memberships. Enjoy all the emotes and other cool stuff that comes with that. Yeah, we've got a thousand members now, Charlie. Zach came through with another hundred gifted. I just... <laughs> Zach's an absolute legend. Like, I can't even begin to say how crazy it's been. Just absolutely wild. Uh, we shot the great one, like, an hour and 35 minutes into the stream. There he is, there's Zach.
Thank you once again, JP. Thank you so much, dude. Really appreciate it. Oh, that was a nasty three piece. That brings us up to 160 kills. Jeez. If we could just do that every zone, oh my gosh, we'd be going crazy. Hey, Nufi, how's it going? Two more down. Let's reset the time and get the other zone. I wish that uh, I wish that we were a little bit closer to the outpost here. Like whenever you spawn at this outpost, it puts you right next to where our stand is. So that's that's a long ways to walk to get in here to change the time. I wish it was closer so I could be faster. Oh, two males over there too. Want to get as many of them per run as we can. Oh, he almost got away. He almost got away. Oh, nice, Scott. I've heard that's a good game. I've heard that game's pretty fun. Ah, floater, no! Why do they have to float? Who made these deer so buoyant? Uh, tried herd management for my fourth great one moose on Medved. It's making my zones not respawn male moose, so I'm just going to back to shooting everything. Now it's respawning the males back. Yeah, I don't really like herd managing moose. I don't really like it either. Moose are just too weird to really get effective HM quickly. We did it with Medved for a little bit and then like a few thousand kills into the grind, everything started acting weird. So yeah, I definitely, I don't like it that much either. HM is definitely not for every grind. There's some grinds where it works a lot better than others. For real, Tuck, for real. Oh, nice, Zach. That's awesome. Sounds like a fun time, man. Gotta love some classic Skyrim. Double respawns. Nice. I couldn't get a shot. Wait, triple respawns. Wait, no. It, no, double. We got them both. Nice. I didn't think we got that second one at first, but we got it. Is herd management good for red deer? Yeah, herd management is actually really good on red deer. It's probably one of the easiest herd management grinds to start up. Because Tiabaro is just so good for red deer that it's really easy to find all of them and manage them down. Nice, JP. Love your videos. Uh, what you do is great. Keep it up. You help me so much. It would make my day to get a shout out. Thank you so much, Exar. Really appreciate that, dude. Really appreciate the kind words. One, two. Okay, we can pop both of those. Uh, yes, we did kill the great one already. We did already shoot the great one. A 
Okay, so we have killed 51 deer in 32 minutes. Oh, guys, we could hit the 100. We could hit the hundo in an hour. I think we're back to our former glory with the grind. Oh my gosh. You love to see it. It's more of a how much will crows short circuit with this action. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're not wrong. Like, sometimes I, I can't even like formulate what I'm going to say in my head. And so it comes out as like, I, I like stop mid sentence, start another sentence, stop mid sentence on that one. I just don't know how to finish. <laughs> don't know how to finish the sentence and get out what I'm trying to say. It, it, I'm assuming it's probably very entertaining to watch. What should I shoot my whitetail zones down to? Level ones, uh, Monkey2000. You want to get the majority of your zones down to ones, like 70% of them. And keep in mind, you want to get 70% of your entire population of whitetail, not just the zones you've found. Every zone across your map, even the ones you haven't found. So it's good to find all your zones. If you really want to maximize it. Nice, Kaylee. That's awesome. Which great one moose did you get again? I can't remember uh, if you mentioned what variation you got for the moose. I see so many different like people saying what trophies they got every day that I forget like who got what sometimes. Can't remember which one you got. Two tone spider rack. Okay, got you. I might have actually seen a picture of that then. I saw a pic of a two-tone spider rack the other day. I think it was either in my Discord or the official Discord. Oh, maybe it... When did you get yours, Tony? Maybe I'm thinking of yours. I know I saw one recently. I know I saw one recently. Nice, Cole. That's crazy, dude. That is super awesome. There's the tracks. There he is. It's clear over here. Hey, and to each their own, Eric. To each their own. That's the great thing about Call of the Wild. There's so many different ways to play the game, and every single way is fun. There's a reason the devs say that they want everybody to be able to play however they find like fun, because there is so many different ways to play it. Some of us want a realistic experience, others want a trophy hunt. And then if you're like me, you want to do all the different types of gameplay. Oh, got you, Kaylee, got gotcha. you. That's crazy. That is absolutely wild. Jeez, we're approaching 60 kills. 60 kills in 36 minutes is not bad. We're doing pretty good. Am I going to use HM on Fallow? Probably, because I still don't have a good uh, albino. I want to get a big albino from the grind. 
Maybe, Xavier. I've seen a lot of people saying that, so you never know. Maybe, uh, maybe we'll all speak it into existence. Ooh, this is a smooth run. This is going really well. Super smooth. They're all behaving. They're all in their zones. They're all giving me broadside shots. This is like the dream run for any grind. Getting a run like this where they're all just behaving. So nice. We're already at 181 kills in total for this stream. Not bad. Especially since we spent like 20, maybe, maybe even more minutes looking at that great one, stocking up onto him, taking the shot. How many kills to get my great one? It's, uh, it's random, right? It's random, man. Or are you wanting me to predict it? If you're wanting me to predict it, I'm going to say 2372 on the dot. 2372. That's my prediction. Yes, we did shoot it. It's jack time. We did shoot it. It was a pretty sick great one. I have all my settings maxed out, NA. All my settings are maxed out except for... Fog. Fog is the only thing I don't have maxed out. Alright, Raid. Yeah, that's my prediction. I don't even know what species you're going for. I can't remember, but that's the prediction I'm tossing out there. FOV? I play at 75. Used to play at 90, but I figured for a hunting game, I wanted something a little bit more realistic instead of like FPS focused. And by FPS, I mean like first person shooter focused. Cause like if I'm playing stuff like Counter-Strike, I guess not Counter-Strike cause they don't have an FOV slider. But like if I'm playing Call of Duty or Escape from Tarkov or any games like that, I, I've got it at like 90 all the time, but not in Call of the Wild. I felt like that was too much. No, I'm on 75, Cole. 75 still looks pretty good, right? I like it. Nice. We're currently at 68 kills in 41 minutes. That's insanity. Holy smokes. Yeah, guys, I think we're I think we're back. We're back to our former glory for kills per hour. We're getting insane amounts of whitetail deer. Well, HM doesn't affect your great one kill counts, uh, Scott, so it's going to be the same thing whether you're using HM or not. It's usually two to 3,000 for Red Deer. I'm going to say you'll get it in 2,700. Oh, gosh, Zach, that's insane. I know a couple games that allow you to do that, and it's it always just looks so weird to me. I can never do ridiculously high FOVs like that. 
90 is usually the max I'll set it to. But I guess it also depends on what the default for the game is and like how high they let you go. I think I've used 110 on a couple of games that allow 110. <laughs> yeah, cool. <laughs> It'll forever throw you off now. Nice big two up there. Ah, feels freaking bad. Oh, well. The FOV is what spawns the great ones. Oh, definitely. You know, lower FOV equals lower great one kill counts. Duh. Everybody knows that. Maybe I need to go to 50 FOV and then we'll get great ones in sub 500 kills every time. <laughs> oh, gosh. I wonder how terrible 50 FOV looks. We could try it. Just for the giggles. Oh. Oh, it's so bad. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so bad. Everything looks huge. Look at this. How could anybody play on 50 FOV? That is, that is disgusting. That's going to make me sick. I can't do that. Oh God. We're going to try to shoot a couple deer at 50 FOV. I mean, we're kind of ruining our, our time. Cause I mean, we are timing ourselves right now, but I think we got it. Oh my gosh. Oh, the scope is the same. It doesn't affect the scope at all. It's only what it looks like when you're not in the scope. <laughs> That's, yeah, that makes it easy then. It's not gonna hurt the, uh, it's not gonna hurt our speed at smoking these whitetail. However, it makes it really hard to figure out where I'm looking. Um, yeah, we'll try the max. Max is 90. Uh, they used to let you go clear to 110 in Call of the Wild, or maybe it was 120. Yeah, they used to let you go really high with the FOV, and then I think they capped it at 90. Oh, feels bad, Johnny. Are they just not cooperating? Hey, you know what? We spawned him last night. I spawned him at like 12.30 at night. It was literally 71 kills after I stopped streaming, right? Like, I stopped streaming, uh, took a couple hours off of the grind, did some other stuff. I went to watch a podcast, right? Because we're trying to get my daughter to go to sleep. So I was just chilling here. Watching a podcast and shooting some whitetail. And of course, that's when he showed up. And so I saved it for today. <laughs> Smoked him. Oh gosh, Johnny. That's a yikes. That really feels like what happened with my moose, kind of. What if, like, a giant mega herd of like 30 bucks just arrived on your map? Like, what if you got a mega herd of 30 somewhere? <laughs> Could you imagine? Back to 75 we go. Yes, we did shoot the great one. What was its score? 338. It was a smaller one, but it had probably my favorite rack that we've ever got. It wasn't fully typical rack, but it was 50% the typical rack. And then the other half was a squished version of the Kinsko rack, so it was a cool deer. Real big fan of it. Uh, maybe, bro, bro. I'm not sure. 
I just got another game the other night that I think you'd be into. Uh, it's called Ground Branch. I, I played a match of it last night. Really freaking good game. Like, oh my gosh, it's insane. It's got like... Kind of like Tarkov levels of detail and realism. Not quite to Tarkov's level though, more streamlined. But there's like PvE missions, like uh, where you clear the maps, right? I think you'd really like it, bro. It's it's really um, it's really fun. Though, I will say I don't know how much you're into tactical shooters. I know you like um, some of the faster paced stuff, but I know you like uh, you know like the the simulation type um, war games like Hell Let Loose and. Uh, other similar games, so it might be up your alley. It might be something that you'd enjoy actually It's fun Yeah, New England's respawns are pretty rough because there's just so many places they can go But to answer your question brother, yes, I am I am considering it for sure. How about if you if you get um if you get ground branch, I'll get hell at loose and then we can play both of them for a stream. How about that? Cause I still need to I still need to do my first stream on the second channel. How's my day been? It's been good, Ty. It's been good. We took down a uh, great one earlier in the stream. And we've got our zones to a really good spot, finally. That might be a deal? Sounds like a deal. Sounds like a deal, good sir. Because, like, uh, I, I really enjoy the play style of Ground Branch, but, like... And I think it would be a, a cool thing to stream. It's a very tactical, like, slow, methodical, like, clearing type of game where you're, like moving through the map like tactically and trying to clear all areas and stuff like that it's pretty cool very realistic and very detailed like you can literally choose like w the exact positions that you place your optics and lights and stuff on the rail like if you have a rail on your uh AK, right? It gives you like eight different snap points on that rail that you can put it to choose whether it's like uh, close to your closer to your eye further away like there's so much Customization with it. It's kind of ridiculous. It kind of blew me away last night when I looked at it. Oh Yeah, that'd be awesome, bro, bro. That'd be fun Hey, it'd be a real fun time there, sonny all right, guys, that's 80 kills in 50 minutes. Oh, we're on our way to 100. We might be able to do 100. For sure, 90. We for sure are going to get to 90. Ah, uh, yes, we did take the great one down. Blanky wants us to get into squad. I've tried squad before. I think I've played probably like 20 hours of it. It's not too bad, but it wasn't really my taste. Don't know if you remember me, but I was Marianne a long time ago. Oh, I do remember that name actually. I'm assuming you got a uh, either a new account or changed your name. <laughs> yeah, Zach. Oh, Brober just has to speak, and it'll confuse me. <laughs> uh, Brober just has to speak, and then I'll be like, "Huh?" And vice versa. I just got to speak, and he'll be confused. Officially 200 kills into this grind. Honestly, if we consistently hit... That's a diamond. If we consistently hit 90 per run, like we're about to... 
We could get a lot of kills every day. Like, that would make a five hour stream. Like, let's see. 450? Like, 450 kills every five hours. Sheesh! That'd be like a great one every four days. Or less. If we're lucky. That'd be like a great one every four days or less. Nice, Hunter. That's awesome, man. Oh, really, bro? bro? Gosh. Yeah, I definitely wouldn't understand it then. To try some Fortnite or Warzone at some point. Oh, you're talking to Barobra. I don't know if Barobra's played either of those. I don't think he's played Fortnite, but he might have played Warzone before. Hard to say. There's a big boy. Uh, Yukio Kun, thank you so much for the membership, dude. Really appreciate it. Enjoy all the perks that come with that. The emotes, the extra Discord channel, the uh, scrapped uploads on the channel, and all the other cool things. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Have I played Ready or Not? No, but I just bought it. I just bought Ready or Not uh, the same night that I bought Ground Branch. So I'm excited to try that one out as well. It's a game that I waited quite a while for them to release, and I remembered that it wasn't as good on launch, but apparently they improved it quite a bit, so I decided, you know what, we'll get it. If you guys want to see games like those, uh, be sure to sub to the second channel. Did you try Fall Guys? <laughs> Maybe one of these days. Not really my type of game, but... I guess I've played party games before and had fun with them, so. What is ready or not? I believe it's like a SWAT type of game. I believe that's what it is. You're like SWAT. And I believe it is PvP, but they also have PvE scenarios, I think. If I'm not mistaken. Two thirty-six. That's a big in. Two forty. That's a big in V two. Oh yeah, definitely, bro. I saw they did a lot of uh, changes to it. Saw they made a lot of good changes. Marauders has always been a pretty fun game. They've been doing some good work on it. You got 200 hours in Fall Guys? Holy. Ooh. Hello there, big boy. You're a good looking deer. If I do say so myself. A good looking deer that I whiffed the shot on. That brings us up to 90 kills in 56 minutes, though. I think we very much could. Uh, end up hitting a hundred. We're either gonna hit a hundred or like 96. Either way, that's ridiculous. I'm so happy we're back up to those high kill counts. All right, Scott, no worries. Do what you gotta do. Have fun, you know? If we can kill 10 deer in three minutes, we'll reach a hundred. Scarecrow's typical rec rate one by two. <laughs> Howdy. How you doing?
Hey, that's a big boy. That is a really good looking three. Uh, yeah, cool. I definitely will. Probably at the end of the stream, if I remember at least. 270. Boom. Uh, not going to spend too much time looking at him though because we're on the clock, man. We're timing this. We're at 210 kills in total on this grind, so that is all from this stream, guys. 210 kills just this stream. And we've only been streaming for three hours. And I think during the first two hours, we only got 118 kills, so we've had almost 100 in this last hour now that we got the zones refined. We won't let you forget? Okay. Good. What rack is the great one? It's a 50-50 rack of the typical rack and the Kinsko rack. Really cool deer. Definitely my favorite of the ones we've got. Did I see another one to the right? No. Two fourteen. Ah, oh, we got a minute and twenty seconds to get four more kills. Can we do it? Minute twenty to get four kills. Didn't we start a minute late though? Actually, we started at two o one. That means we have two minutes left before the hour will be up. So yeah, we have two minutes left to kill four deer. We, we've done it. That's a hundred an hour. If we can just get four more, that's a hundred an hour. Big ol' three again. Would you look at that? Four deer right there. We didn't even need that extra minute. It's been 59 minutes since we started this run and we've killed 100 deer. Oh my gosh. And one of them was a diamond. Right here. That's so crazy that we were able to kill that many. I can't believe that. Hey, Triple Tine, I'm doing good, man. Doing good. Why is it called the Kinsko Rack? Uh, because this is back when we only thought there was one rack type. And then Kinsko, one of the content creators for EW, got a great one, and it had a different rack. He was the first content creator to post a video of that rack. And so a lot of people just call it the Kinsko Rack. Others call it the Blade Rack, if they're not familiar with, like, uh, when Kinsko got it. Yeah, that's why a lot of us call it the Kinsko Rack, because he was the first content creator to post a video of that rack. Actually, I think he was like the second or third person overall to ever get that rack. And so a lot of us just call it that. Oh my gosh, he's huge. There we go. That was our last kill. We killed 101 Whitetail in an hour. Holy! Jeez. No, I've been updating it, Paters. I've been updating it. Jeez. That's a max. That's a weird max weight. That's a weird looking max weight. He's kind of wonky. That's a wonk right there. That's pretty insane though, guys. 101 kills in one hour. That is mind-boggling numbers. I haven't been able to do that since before we went back to HM. 
Back when we were doing non-HM, we were getting 100 an hour, but we had a lot more deer to shoot from, so it made it easy. That is just wild that we got our HM grind to that point. So I think what we're going to do now is not deviate from this path at all. We're not going to go off of our route. Not going to shoot any other deer. We're going to try to keep things exactly where they are. Which also means being extra careful not to accidentally shoot does. <laughs> That'd be tragic. We already shot it, CJ. We already shot the great one. One seventy four. Thank you, Jebba. I'm so happy that it was a good looking great one. Like, our last two great ones have been so cool. The super tight cluster rack and now this real wonky dude. The only thing I need now is the typical. Where's the typical? We've got two 50% that have a typical antler. Where's the full on tippy boy? Like, come on, man. Where is he? I mean, these wonks are probably more rare than the typical rack, to be honest. You know, I wonder if the reason the typical rack is so rare, maybe it's the lowest scoring, or not lowest scoring, but maybe it's considered the small rack. Maybe it's the lightest weight one. I actually, I actually have not paid attention to its weight versus the weights of ones that are similar, like the short rack. I wonder if it's the lowest weight on average. Maybe that's why it's so hard to get, because you have to get a really small one to spawn. Maybe, Xavier. I'd be okay with that. I'd be okay with it being two from now. That wouldn't be too bad. Uh, there's another male. Yeah, there's his tracks. Okay, so we missed one of them. How many zones do I have? Like 72. And I'm only hunting nine of them at this point. Ooh, that's unfortunate, Elijah. I mean, the, it's not my luck, man. The reason that we get so many diamonds is because of herd management. Oh, that's huge. Herd management makes more diamonds show up. It doesn't affect your great ones, but it will make lots of diamonds show up. Which in turn gives you more chances at super rares because you're seeing more diamonds. I already told you what my settings are in A. I have everything maxed out except for field of view. Everything's maxed out. I play on 1440p. It's actually his determination. Well, I mean, I guess I do get kills pretty quick, but it is the herd management primarily, you know, that's what gets the, uh, that's what gets the dimes showing up. Yes, I've got that turned on as well, NA. Because if you turn it off, it makes everything too bright. It, it makes the... It makes the grass look unnatural because there's no, like, shading. There's no shadowing at all. So, yes, I do have that turned on. Ah, uh, he knows we're here. How far are they? 275 and you're alert? Huh? Hmm. I didn't know they could go alert from that far away anymore. I thought the range changes made it so it was not 
quite that extreme. Ma'am, stop getting in his way, please. Ah, stop walking. Stop it! Oh my gosh. That doe was persistent, man. The doe was so persistent. Is she just really wanted to uh, mess up my zone? Oh, hey, what are you doing here? Random rabbit. That's a first. Can't say I've ever had a rabbit show up here. Yeah, full on bodyguard. And apparently there was a rabbit bodyguard too. There's that one. What rack is the great one? It was a 50% typical rack, 50% Kinsko rack. Hey, Waylon, how's it going? Got about 30 kills an hour on console, which is probably really bad. Uh, not for console, no. Uh, controllers are a little bit harder to like maneuver quickly, you know? I wouldn't say that's bad. It also depends on like how much time you've put into like finding your most efficient zones. I've always said like as long as you're getting at least 30 kills an hour, then you're not doing too bad. The only reason I get clear up to an hour is just because I spend so much time refining my grind. I don't expect anybody to like, I don't expect most people to have the amount of time, uh, the amount of free time that it takes to get herds like this and to get them to be super consistent. I'd say 30 is fine. Nothing wrong with that. Maybe fishing and farming. I mean, we've got two of those 50% uh, typical racks. And both of them had a different antler on the other side. Ooh, actually, hold up. Okay, actually, because the typical rack can have a 50-50 of Kinsko rack and the short rack, that means it's not the small rack. Because... Antlers can only be mixed with one that's one size larger or smaller than them. That means the typical rack is the second smallest rack in the game. I bet the short rack's the smallest. Short rack would have to be the smallest, then probably typical rack, then Kinsko rack, cluster rack, drop time rack, and big rack. I think that would have to be it. Use them in a multi-mount. Ooh, that would look good. That would look pretty fire. I'm thinking at this point, if we're gonna keep uh, going for these great ones, right? We're gonna have the fallow soon. I might have to make my great one lodge a uh, Sasiki Safari instead of Spring Creek Manor. I'm running out of room. We'll be able to go for a little bit longer, but eventually I'm gonna have to transition into using Sasiki Safari, I think. I'll have to clear out one of those lodges that I have and Make it a great one grinding lodge. We will have to see though. How many drink zones on this map? I've got 72 whitetail drink zones. But that's partially because I've grinded uh, thousands of kills. And so like some of my herds have broken up and made new herds. Which creates more zones than what you start with. I started with like 65 and then... Actually, I started with like 60. 60 or 63. And now we're clear up to like 72. Yes, I love Silver Ridge Peaks. It's a great map. Don't want to risk that shot. I could easily hit a doe. Uh, what do you mean by multi-mount series, uh, fun brother? Ah, uh, yes, hunting gods, we did kill the great one earlier. 
We killed it like an hour and 35 into the uh, stream. Do you shoot level four red deer? Uh, no, I don't. If I'm doing herd management on red deer, then you would not shoot the fours. Oh, for sure, Ivan, for sure. Oh, that's on your end, uh, Newfoundland. I'm not dropping any frames as far as I can tell. Uh, yeah, Phoenix, for sure. For sure. Uh, yes, I mentioned the time for the great one. One hour and 35 minutes, approximately. Okay, this herd's just being stubborn. Let's forget about that. Well, forget about him. Forget about it. Wish I could kill two per zone like you. Yeah, I mean, a lot of it is just keyboard and mouse and getting comfortable with it. Because you said you're on console, right? It is a lot harder with joysticks. I suck with a controller so bad. I could never get more than one kill per zone if I was on controller. There's just no way I'd be able to pull it off. I am not good with controllers at all. Because uh, the 6.5 is really weak in comparison to other class 4 to 8 rifles, uh, Coopity. The only time I use it is if I'm, like, in multiplayer, where I'm not, like, trying to be fast. Because I know for a fact if I'm using the 6.5, I'm not going to be fast. I just realized we forgot to main menu. No wonder our herds were not always, were not all there. That was a big mistake on my part. Rip. That's going to throw our grind off. Honestly, that's impressive that this zone was here. But I think it might have been because they weren't there at the beginning of the run. Sheesh. Three kills, Pike. And like I said, it, a lot of it just comes down to getting comfortable with whatever... Whatever you use. I used to suck with PC. And then I played more and now I got pretty good with it. Yeah, the drinking trick does work pretty good for getting multiple, that's for sure. If you guys don't know what that is, you wait for one to take a drink, like uh, Fellblade just mentioned. And then when one of them takes a drink, shoot the other one that isn't taking a drink. Let's see if we can get it to work here. One of them is bound to take a drink, right? Come on. I need one of you to take a little sip of water. Just a tiny one. He does. Oh, he is. You see how long he let us just stare at him before we took the shot? It's pretty wild. Nice three. There's the other buck back here. Yeah, not going to get him. Why, Marky? It's literally like what everybody's been asking for. They're finally giving us the map we've all wanted. I'm super excited for it. Oh, bad shot on that one. That's up to you, Landon. That's up to you, man. I'd say grind as much as you can without making it, like, 
without it becoming like a problem and like taking over other things in your life, right? 257. Nice little diamond. Think the game kangaroos are gonna make the game childish? What? <laughs> One of the weirdest takes I've heard. Not gonna lie, that was a we that's a weird take in my opinion. Kangaroos are gonna make the game childish. What about killing kangaroos is making a game childish? Kangaroos are hunted in Australia. People literally get like nuisance permits to just kill off kangaroos because they're causing problems. I just, I don't see how that's childish. I don't see how hunting kangaroos will make the game childish. I fail to see the point. Uh, Jaxie already confirmed they will, Cody. Just like they would in real life. <laughs> yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. I don't think shooting a kangaroo is childish. Definitely doesn't feel like it to me. <laughs> Yeah, exactly, Bacon. Like, it's... Kangaroos are... From what I've heard, like, they are very, like, overpopulated. They're a problem in a lot of areas. They're also delicious. <laughs> to be honest, I've never really heard anybody talk about, like, whether kangaroos taste good before. I've always been curious if, like, uh, if their meat's actually used. Seems like it is, then. Uh <laughs> Invincible deer. He's a, he's a full on, uh, full on matrix over here. Oh, a great one. Kangaroo would be wild. Oh, nice, Ivan. Yeah, that, that does sound like it'd be pretty good. Maybe one of these days I'll have to see if there's any any way that I could actually try kangaroo. I mean, that might be kind of difficult living in Oregon. I don't know when I'll get the opportunity to try kangaroo, but if I ever get the chance, I'll do it. Uh, not sure, Brayden. Not sure. I might end pretty soon because I do want to uh, potentially try streaming on my second channel for the first time. And... Uh, Get everything situated. Any ideas on what the rare, on what rares there might be for Ruse? I mean, I would imagine probably stuff like Albino. Other than that though, I really couldn't even begin to, to tell you because I don't know. I don't know what type of rares they have in real life. Thank you, Bebop. Yeah, he's my new favorite. Oh, wait, really, Zevin? Oh, dude, that sounds so good. That sounds like such a fun thing. Boom, there we go. How hard to get a Great One Super Rare? So like an Ultra Rare? Uh, there's only been like 11 or so ever killed. There's been roughly like 10, maybe even less of the Fabled Piebald found. And then there has been one person to get an Albino. That's it. That's the only Ultra Rares that have ever been found. And there's probably been at least 5,000 Great One Whitetail killed over the years by everybody in the community. So I'd definitely say that they're pretty rare. The chances of getting one is, I mean, if we 
Look at that. That's less than 1% of getting an ultra rare. Probably like 0.01 or something wild like that. So you're the one getting the melanistic? I hope. Could you imagine if we get the first ever melanistic ultra rare? That would be quite an achievement. Yeah, Reindeer Great One would be good. I really think that if EW wants to take like a really smart business move, right? It may seem like it wouldn't be a good business move to some people, but hear me out. I think, I think they should eventually make Medved Taiga a base game map or make it so it's a free DLC instead of having to pay for it. Uh, Medved's already gone down in price over the years as it was their first DLC reserve, but I feel like they could take it one step further, make it a free map. That way they can use all of those species for future great ones and not have to worry about being locked behind a paywall because that's one of the things they've said they don't want to do. They don't want to lock great ones behind a paywall. So in other words, they don't want to make it species that are only on DLC maps. So I think good compromise would be make Medved a free map. That would honestly bring more people into the game. They could make it as like maybe a part of a free weekend type of thing. Like, uh, like free steam weekend plus Medved is now a free map that would generate a lot of hype. It would bring a lot of new people to the game and it would open up a whole new um, selection of animals that could be added as great ones. Because then they could do stuff like, you know, reindeer. They could do a brown bear great one. They could even go for like a lynx great one if they wanted to take that route instead. Musk deer, you know, they could do a lot. I got the great one to spawn last night, and then we took it today, uh, Pedroski. We killed it like an hour and 35 into the stream. It was just an absolutely gorgeous great one. Easily my favorite. Yeah, wolf too. Wolf for sure. That'd be so sick. I forgot about wolves. Oh, even Capricali. Capricali are on Medved. Yeah, it'd really open up a lot of potential species they could make great ones out of. I really hope someday they decide to do something like that. I think it would be huge for the game. Maybe hunting gods, maybe. We will have to see, man. We'll have to see. Hey, Adam, you uh, missed us taking down the great one. Oh, that's a little doe right there. That's another little doe. That's a buckaroo. Howdy there, partner. All right, only two bucks at this lake this time. What type of rack was it? It was a 50-50 mix of the typical rack and the Kinsko rack. Really cool deer. Really happy we got it. Yeah, that'd be crazy, Newfoundland Outdoors. I, I definitely don't know if I would grind for something like that super hard, but I think they could make it cool at least. Uh, yeah, Power, we did. We did kill it. Got a gold pronghorn. It was a troll. Ooh, unfortunate, Mellow. Sorry it didn't make diamond for you. the rest of the deer We're missing oh she just popped out of nowhere I 
Mountain Goat underrated? I love the Mountain Goat. It's just unfortunate that they took away their drink time and moved them around. They were so much better before they did that. Mountain Goat used to be one of my favorite things to hunt on Silver Ridge. What animal would I like to see as a great one? I think a lion would be bussing. Yeah, lion's pretty good option. My my personal top three, and we'll go with top five. Top five for me would be blacktail deer, mule deer, uh, Roosevelt elk, Rocky elk, and probably Cape buffalo, and then lion. Because I I'd say like. I'd say Rocky and Rosie Elk. I'll count those as one. Like that'll just take up like my third slot. And then number four would be Cape Buffalo. And number five would be Lion. So that's the ones I'd really like to see. Did not see that second one at first. Till his little tines started poking out. And then mountain lion, right? Uh, mountain lions are pretty cool. But I don't think I'd have it as anywhere near the top for what I'd like to see as a great one. Just because I've got so much. I've got so much hate for the mountain lions spooking my bears all the time like they used to. <laughs> uh, Orvis, thank you for becoming a member, dude. Really appreciate it. Enjoy all the perks that come with that, the emotes, the extra Discord channels, scrapped uploads on the channel, and all the other cool stuff. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Holy, how's it going, Jensen? Welcome back. The crack of a can. It's the Dr. Pepper man. You guys like that? A little rhyme I just made up on the spot. You know, it's nothing. Just uh straight up Eminem over here. A full on I'm a full on Kendrick Lamar with the words. Don't see oh, there we go. Okay. And no respawns. Woo! Yeah, nothing here. Three. Okay, perfect. Now we can move on to this one. Um, I already added it to the diamond count. I add it like the second I see that it's diamond. Two hundred and fifty-eight whitetail kills. Holy, yeah, it is pretty absurd, Johnny. I I don't know how you, I don't know how that many of them went missing for you. That's absurd. That is just insane. All the while, it's just like, all right, man, you need to slow down on these whitetail. Maybe it's time for Layton, Johnny. Oh, no worries, Jensen. No worries. No worries at all. Is the moose grind worth it? It uh, depends on what you define as being worth it. If you really badly want a great one moose, then it's worth it. All right, guys. Let's go ahead and jump into the lodge and check out our great one whitetail. Then we'll probably call it a day there. Where are we going to put him? We're going to I think we're just going to put him on the wall from now. I'll put him in a multi-mount later. 
I gotta rearrange stuff anyway, like... I don't have enough room for new multi-mounts in that lodge. I've got so many huddle whitetail mounts. At this point, we're getting to... We're getting to the point where we're removing rares. We're actually at the point where we are removing rares. Oh, here is... This is the other one. That has the typical rack. We actually could just assemble this, I think. Where's the other one? Not him. Uh, possibly, Pike. I want to. There it is, 386. That's the one I wanted. Maybe. Ooh, actually. That one would look really good with it. Let's put that guy there. Uh, Matt Matt's multi mounts. Little white tail. Oh gosh, we gotta scroll through so many. Oh, we got another one. Gosh, there's so much I haven't placed. I think it's that. That. Eleven, eleven, twenty, twenty-two. I think this is the right time frame. Yep, three forty-three, right there. Our poor first ever great one, forever ruined by EW's updates. Watching the fur colors. Feels bad, man. He will forever be remembered as our first great one. Uh, what do we want to do? Hmm, probably going to toss these guys on the wall. Yeah, these ones will go on the wall. Oh, that's so sick. That's, that's an awesome mount. He looks so good in the middle there. This is the three wonks that I've ever had. These are the only three, like, 50-50 rack whitetail great ones I've killed. And every single one of them is different. That's honestly really lucky. Oh, man, that pose is sick. When will we get a full typical rack, though? And I was wrong. Both of these have the typical antler on their right side. And this is actually a wider variation of the typical rack. Look at that. That tine is even further past the ear for the uh, the tip of the main beam. If we look at this guy. Yeah, if we look at this other one, that that beam curls in a lot more. So, like, if this guy would have been a typical rack, like a full-on typical rack, it would have been so wide. Man. So close, but so far. One of these days, we'll get the typical rack. One of these days, we will. Alright, time to... Uh, dismantle. Wait. <laughs> it didn't place it. Are you? Call the wild. Fix your. Fix. Fix your lodges. It thought that I still had the old one placed down. Or wait, no, I messed up. Never mind. That was on me. It's all that grinding. Frying my brain. There we go. There we go. <laughs> I know, right, Johnny? This is a sign that I need to uh, take a break for a little bit. <laughs> Dad. 
That looks good. Oh, man. Okay, now to find the other one. Gotta look for one that is not placed down. That's just, uh, that's our last big rack. That's placed. Placed. We're gonna be looking for a while. Please give us lodge filters. Please. Please give us lodge filters. <laughs> Please, lodge filters. They'd be so nice. Those are both placed. Those are placed. That's placed. There it is. Dismantle. And now it's time to start removing some of these to replace them with great ones. This is quickly becoming a great ones only lodge instead of a great one grind lodge. Come on. Come on. Wonder if I passed him. Oh, I definitely passed him. And where is he? We only placed three and I had one extra. We gotta find our 424. All right, I placed two and we had one more. Oh, it's so tough sorting through everything. Yeah, 412, 626. Yeah, it's our 424 that I'm missing. You guys remember when we killed the 424 scoring? Whitetail great one. I guess I should look at chat when I ask a question like that. <laughs> There's no way it was that far back. Oh no, is it? Did it delete my great one? Did it delete? Did it bug out and delete it? It thinks this isn't placed. It thinks I don't have one of them placed. Hold up. All the wild stuff, am I right? Let's remove that. All 
I guess that's one that I forgot to put down. I swear to God, if this game deleted one of my great ones, I'm going to be so mad. Which one is that? One of those. I think it did. I think it deleted one of my great ones. Either that or it's just so far back. Let's count them. So we have three currently that aren't placed because they're in a huddle. Let's get this moose placed down as well. The moose to my ears. Uh, one, two. Three, four, five, six. I haven't placed that down yet. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and then I think I have some upstairs. Wait, 18, 19. And I think I have 20, 21, 22 in my inventory, right? I think it deleted one of mine. I think one of our one of our great one whitetail got deleted. Unless I'm just like not looking at the right time frame. I was looking at the wrong time frame. I thought the 424. Ah, uh, I thought this was a recent one. This was our second great one ever, I think. I think that was the second one we... Uh, I am an idiot. I am a full-on idiot. Uh, can't believe I just wasted all that time. Can't believe I just wasted all that time. All right, well, let's find the other one to break down then. Hey, you guys can't say that my that my worries weren't justified though. Call of the Wild deletes people's trophies all the time. I had reason to worry, you know. Call of the Wild's notorious for deleting people's trophies just in the weirdest ways. There we go. And if only these plaques could fit them. I don't know why they can't. There we go. All the great ones are placed. <laughs> Excuse me. All right. I think we're good. I think we're good to go. So for anybody that missed it, we'll go check it out one more time. The uh, newest great one in our collection of great ones. This beauty right here. What a gorgeous little feller. <laughs> yeah, Johnny. <laughs> All right, well, that's going to be it for this stream. Thank you all for watching. We're going to go ahead and probably do another stream later tonight. I don't know the exact time frame, but also stay tuned for the video at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, which is an hour and a half from now. New video in an hour and a half. Potentially another stream after that on the second channel. 
So pay attention to the second channel. That's where we'll go live again. With uh, probably some ground branch or something like that to maybe get Brober into the game. Maybe a little bit of Hell Let Loose, something like that. We'll do a couple of those, uh, those like uh, more simulation shooter games. But anyway, thank you all, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace.